Hey everybody, welcome back to Fire Pro Promoter Mode. So, let's talk about it for a minute. I think the last time that we did this series was August of last year. It's been quite a long time since we've done anything on the series. To be completely honest with you, uh, this series was dead. And I did not intend on bringing it back whatsoever. But things have changed. And I decided today that maybe we bring it back. It's just me today. It's just me and y'all. We're just hanging out. Like I said, I uh, didn't really ever intend on bringing this back. Uh, but we're here. So welcome back. Uh, we're going to be getting back into Fire Promoter here. We're on year three of shitty as fuck wrestling. We're sitting here with quite a few assets here. Five million dollars. We don't even don't even take that much money to run our events every month. We're in a good place. If I remember correctly from the last episode that we did, uh, we had a few injuries. Kobashi got injured, I believe. Timmy got injured. Um, trying to remember back everything. Uh, I think we just signed Brock Lesnar, which might be like our biggest signee yet. And then, um, what else happened? Oh yeah. So that's why I named this episode. Why? What I named it. So we're going to be working together with, uh, well, that's what I'm going to try to do in this episode at least is try to work together with other promotions. Cause we haven't really gotten into that too much yet. Um, so that's what we're going to do. We had a, a, a guy from a company. I think it was DFW. Um, let me see. Uh, I don't really know how to check. I guess if we go to sign. Let's see. Eh. I gotta remember where everything's at. Okay. So I think it was DF. Okay, so this guy is here. <laughs> we have this guy in our company now. Um, so that's good. So what we're gonna what we're gonna do? I think uh, he's the champion. I'm not too sure what he's the champion of, but he's the champion of something in DFW. Uh, and they even have a cool little logo now from uh, from the updates and stuff. Uh, he is the mean drunk. Robert Moore. He kind of looks like Eli Drake a little bit. And we're going to... I think what we're going to do is we're going to set him up in the main event against our new signee, Brock Lesnar. So I think that's what we're going to do. At least I think so. Uh, let's see. What can we do here? All right, let me make sure this is all good. I see some super chats, but they didn't pop up. So I just want to make sure that I have this correct... Let's see. We also have, I think we haven't signed anybody this month, so we can sign somebody. So if you guys have any recommendations for signing people, um, we definitely can. Okay, let's see. Do YouTube. Bada bing. Uh, anyways, let's look at that. We can offer a contract to people. We have a lot of people we haven't offered contracts to. We need to look for people that are... We need to look for s rank dudes. We need popular people that are high in attack and defense. That's why we signed Brock Lesnar, because he's just kind of brolic. I think he was A, A, and S, and the fact that we signed him was pretty big. Um... If I remember correctly, we tried to sign Vader before and he said no. So that's why we kind of strayed away from Vader. Is that correct? I feel like we tried. Hmm. I think Cat is Jack. CM Punk. I mean, CM Punk's a B plus B, but he's also an S in Showman and America. Huh. Ed, well, Edge just came back. We could sign Edge. Mm. Mm. 
Nikki Bella got the S popularity. Rey Mysterio. We can sign Ric Flair. I'm Ric Flair's uh, A, A, and S. What do you guys think about Ric Flair? Edge or Ric Flair seems like pretty solid picks here. From what it looks like, at least. All right, we'll try Ric Flair. They're concerned that our wrestling style doesn't match theirs. We just want you to do a flip, Rick. I've seen you do flips. I know you can. Uh, all right, so we got money to spend. You guys think we throw the big bucks at Rick? Ric Flair can't back away from the big bucks. You know how Ric Flair is. Ric Flair cannot back away from the big bucks. So I'm thinking if we throw $70,000 70, at him, I have a feeling that Ric Flair is going to join. So let's do it. We have money to spend. Why not? We'll throw the book at him, see what's going down. Ooh, my heart, Rick. Ah, ah, my heart. Well, we're back. That's how you know we're back in Fire Pro when uh, <laughs> when our first thing back is they say no. Breaking my heart, Rick. Damn, man. Damn, Ricky. Uh, we had some super chats here, um, but they just didn't show up on the screen. I'll figure it out in a minute. You know, fucking YouTube and it's dog shit system nick waddick had a uh, big five dollars here he said i'm currently in my virtual online class you got to get the webcam on the webcam action hyper of twenty dollars said that lawsuit from goku and the girls naruto slapped his balls in the face so it finally ended think of uh the long term today pulse is what tubby would want yeah yeah i know what tubby would want koki the clown at a 20 also damn okay fire promoter and safw bag ah, is that? yeah you know what it is Hyperwolf had a $5. He said, you should sign Johnny Gargano. Well, probably should have because he probably would have said yes. Rick said no to that. Um, H2 Fluff had $8. He said, bug on! It's SAFW One Night Stand. The voids are back at it again. Yes, I'm excited, man. Let's uh, let's see here. Uh, since I guess we can try to invite somebody, um, I guess we could start booking the show and then see what we need. So the main event, I know for sure... We want to do Big Brock Lesnar, who is making his debut. <laughs> Big Brock Lesnar with the hair and the trunks. Yeah, uh, we'll put Brock in his this attire, and he'll face off against. Let's see. Does Roberto? Will he just be in this list? Dude, we got a lot of injuries. A lot of injuries. Um, ah, we have Robert Moore. Okay. So, Robert Moore, put the title on the line, you coward. Ha oh, you're lucky, damn it. You're lucky we can't put the title on the line, Robert. I'd put the damn title on the line right now. Um, let's see. All right, so that's going to be our main event. We'll have Brock Lesnar and Robert Moore fighting it out. Uh, maybe that will increase our ties with DFW. Um, we'll see how that kind of plays out here. Uh, let's see. Let's return. Oh, no, I don't want to lose anything. I could have sworn there was a way to go back without losing all your matches. Anyways, I just need to see who the champions are real quick. Uh, let's see here. All right, Jimmy. Oh yeah, I forgot this son of a bitch. All right, so uh, Jimmy Wang Yang is the world's champion. John Cena is the television. Mayu Iwatani is the junior heavyweight, which we kind of just made like our anyone can go for belt, like women's and cruisers and all that shit. Uh, Abyss and Natsuki, which are class action, are tag champs. Hardcore is Triple H. Okay, dickhead Triple H. All right, put that there, put that here, put that there. Okay, just put that there and then put that here. All right, perfect. All right. So, book this event up. 
Uh, Gabriel Michaels had a 14.99. Says so glad SAFW is back. Thank you, dude. Hell yeah, me too. I'm excited to get into this. Uh, so, anyways, we'll book. Like I said, Big Brock Lesnar. Yeah, I tried to invite Ric Flair. It didn't, it didn't work though. Robert Moore. Uh, that'll be our main event. Uh, since we're kind of starting a new here, we'll kind of just make some shit. Uh, John Cena is the television champion, but we don't need to book him in the semi-main, I don't think, at least. Um, let's look at all these injuries, man. This is rough. Timmy's out, too. Ugh. Let's, uh, let's see. We'll do it here. We'll do... You might have to invite people. Let's do John Cena versus John Moxley TV title. I don't want to play that, no. <laughs> John Moxley, Shooter John Moxley versus John Cena TV title. That sounds good to me. We'll do Big Brock and Robert Moore in the gimmick here. We'll do... Let's do... Where's Goku? Is he injured? He's not injured. What's up, Goku? All right, Goku. How about we'll put you in a match... Ah, oh, Big Bear's out. Mm. Maybe we put you in a match with... New Jack? Goku can face... How about... Is Billy Gunn injured? No, but his... Well, we could actually probably build up some trust with Billy Gunn. So we'll do Goku and Billy Gunn. Um, that sounds good. So that would be asses and eights versus uh, the wild cards. This is looking okay so far. Um... Let's do a tag team match. Um, we might actually not have enough people to do a tag team match, but we'll try anyways. So we'll do Abyss and Natsuki, who are the tag team champions of the world currently. And we'll do a Proving Ground match. And we'll have... Let's see, I think we just ran through. I, did we did we do Hyak Percento, which is Matt Robinson and Eddie Guerrero? We could probably go back to that, but Matt's pretty beat up, so maybe not. Maybe. Maybe Reigns. Maybe. I don't think Naito's doing anything, right? Or is he injured too? Where is Naito? Naito. He's normal. Okay, so cool. So we'll do Naito and... Is Mark Henry injured? No, and he's good too. Okay, so that's good. We'll do a Proving Ground match with uh, Los Ingobernables de North America. We'll do Naito and Mark Henry versus Abyss and Natsuki. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Let me set that up. All right, so that's a Proving Ground match, so I'll make sure I mark that down. Tag team is Proving Grounds match. If they end up winning that match, then they'll be number one contenders. Um, let's see. We could have Mayu defending her title. We'll have her defending it. Well, I guess if we need to set it up. Mayu can defend her junior heavyweight title. Do we have any juniors that can face? We can go back to Azumi or Naruto's back into the mix. Why not, man? Naruto back into the mix. Uh, Super sick. Bud Ryan had two dollars. Says signed Stromboli to be fake, fake great Muda and relic. <laughs> Shit, if I had him, I would. Uh, Weezy had a five dollars. Said, "What's going on, Paul? So I enjoy being turned into a cat." <laughs> That's how it be, man. You never know. You never know what you get on the Deadlock podcast. Uh, let's see. We got some other people. We can fill the card up here. Um, we'll do, let's Triple H, he's the hardcore champion. 
Triple H and Bully Ray for the hardcore title. Okay, so Triple H and Bully Ray for the hardcore joint. So we got all the... T mm, we could probably move that here and then move that here. Um, put that in this... Eh, maybe here and here. And then, okay. And then here we'll do... What match should we do for the hardcore championship? So we'll do Braun, we'll do Braun and Baby Reigns. Uh, Jimmy, we could do a... Uh, Jimmy Wang Yang, we can put him on the card. Uh, he's not too beat up. Jimmy Wang Yang, maybe we move these two. Yeah, probably is the move here. So we'll put Billy Gunn there. We'll put Jimmy, since he's the world champion, we'll put him there. Um, maybe we do a proving grounds with Matt Robinson. Um, just to set up some number one contender shit, see if we can uh, get some stuff going here. So Jimmy Wang and Matt Robinson is going to be a proving ground for the world title. Then we got the uh, Robert Moore from the other promotion. Okay, so this is looking, this is actually not a bad card at all, actually. Um, Braun Strowman, New Jack's kind of beat up. Maybe we give him a week to get back into the mix. I don't know. I don't know if we can. I don't know if we can. Let's see. Braun and Eddie's sort of beat up. Izumi's really fucking beat up. Uh, we can do Braun and Baby Reigns. I think that'd be okay for an opener. Then, uh... Mm, like I said, they're kind of beat up. I guess we could do Izumi and Kevin O. <laughs> Part of me wants to see New Jack. <laughs> New Jack and... Ah, you're so beat up. I wanted to see a Zoomy, but so beat up. Maybe we do Kevin Owens. Uh, and that leaves us with one. Uh, this sucks. Um, can we confirm the match card and then go back? Large haul. I can't remember if it was Rural that increases popularity or if it's one of those does. I'm trying to remember everything from the last time we played here. We can sell out at 40,000 and we have a safe card. I'm do that. <laughs> I thought this was an empty arena show. <laughs> yeah, that's what it should be. Uh, I mean, Eddie's safe. Maybe he can. <laughs> All right, Eddie, I'm going to need you to work really safe with whoever you're facing here. Yeah, don't, don't beat up Azumi too bad. Don't beat up Azumi too much. Give her, give her an easy match, and uh, we'll be good to go. How's that sound? Uh, da, 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 I think we're good, man. I think this looks pretty solid, so we'll confirm the match card. Ah, uh, we can confirm it and then go back. We actually could maybe invite some... No? <laughs> no, we can't. Maybe if we uh, go to the event... Mm. No, I think we actually have to just do this. Maybe if we take a Zoomy out of this card? Oh, we actually can't. Oh, we can't change anything. That sucks. I could have sworn we used to go. We used to be able to go back and hit, like change shit. Maybe if we. No. All right. Uh. Anyways. 
Yo, what's up, Brandon? Alright, so we got no merch, so we gotta fucking buy all this merch. Uh, we have 40,000 people. We're selling out, like, everything, so... We're gonna get as much as humanly possible here. Uh... 20,000 snackaroos, maybe? You think we'll sell that many? Yeah, why not? <laughs> uh, T-shirt-wise... Let's go 3,000 T-shirts. Give me some more towels, baby. Uh, give me 3,000 of these photos. Oh yeah, Blu-rays. Y'all fucking like movies? Got the Avengers on sale. Uh, maybe maybe not that many action figures. Give me 3,000 fucking things. Hell yeah. Alright, uh... <laughs> Training center. Is everything good over here? Good, 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 good. Okay, I think we're good. We could increase some of this stuff. Uh... Yeah, we got some money to spend, you know what I mean? Maybe we level up. It's the easier to scout wrestlers. See, I, I never really saw the point of that. Um, increases injury recovery speed. Indeed. <laughs> Indubiously. Clinic improved to level three. And we'll do it one more time. Level four. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so now we're injury recovery speed should be getting better. Um, let's see. Increase, increases defense. Increases attack. Mm, stamina recovery speed. Uh, that's a lot. Eh, fuck it. All right, so we increase that a little bit. We should be good to go here. Um, let's just set a save just in case something happens. Uh, and let's do it. I think we're good. No one can, no one can no-show unless Robert decides to no-show. He's like, I, I would love to work for you except for, you know, right now, dickhead. All right. So, first match of the evening, Eddie Guerrero facing off against Azumi. Uh, I think that... Let me make sure the rules are good here, yeah. Oh, thank God it saved all the rules from last time. I was upset because I didn't set up any of the damn rules. Uh, we'll skip Eddie Guerrero and Azumi. Hopefully, Eddie just fucking doesn't kill her. There we go. Yeah, Eddie wins. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Um, I'll put down Eddie, one win. Azumi, one loss. All right. 73% uh, Eddie won. Hopefully, Azumi's not injured. Everything should be good. Um, New Jack and Kevin Owens is sort of a throwaway, too, so we'll skip that. Oh, big Kevin Owens getting a win here. New Jack taking a loss. New Jack needs weapons or else an angle can work. Uh, Braun Strowman and Baby Reigns. We'll skip that one too. Ooh, 91%. Baby Reigns picking up a big W there. Baby Reigns was not picking up shit for a long time, but then he turned things around. Let's see here. One loss for Braun Strowman. Which is, I mean, that's a big loss for... I mean, he beat him with a power slam. He beat him with his own finish. All right, so for this match, let's open up. So what do you guys want to see for this? What kind of match do you guys want to see? Like, because uh, this is for the Hardcore Championship, so the hard it's got to be a hardcore match. So what are you guys trying to see? You trying to see some barbed wire? You want to see a landmine barbed wire match? You want to see a landmine light tube match? And what are we looking at here? What, what are we What are we doing? I don't want to break out the Texas Death Match already because the Texas Death we got to keep that Texas Death Match for the Wrestle Fiesta in January. You know what I mean? That's a that's a January match, so we keep the Texas Death Match till January. But uh, we I'm down for anything else here. Not to be impatient, but I ordered the hat on the last possible day. Are they shipping? Uh, yeah. So the hats it said on the it said on the thing that it's going to take four to five weeks for production of the hat. So it's going to be a little bit. All right, so we're gonna do landmine fucking light tube mesh <laughs> with a bunch of fucking weapons. <laughs> All right, that sounds good to me. I agree with you guys. All right, so let's uh, overwrite that save there. Uh, make sure this is set up correctly. Landmine, light tube, fucking two weapons, exploding blood. Yep, this is perfect. <laughs> it sounds good to me. All right. Bully Ray versus Hardcore Champion Triple H. Let's see what goes down, boys. This is in the arena. Look at those light tubes. 
The landmines. Bully Ray and Triple H. It's been a while. Asses and eights. And Triple H is in the wild cards. Is that correct? He is the leader of the wild cards. Bully Ray is the leader of the asses and eights. Asses and eights need some more people. We need to sign more people with fat asses, man. Bully Ray's kind of like an eight. He ain't got too many people, you know what I mean? Oh, what are they? It sounds like they're like hitting something, but I can't see. There might be a weapon that's right behind that board or something. Do you guys hear the way it sounds when they hit the mat? Or maybe, you know, that maybe the maybe the ring is just fucked up. <laughs> maybe we just messed up the ring. I don't know. Who knows? I'll throw him into that light tube board, Bully Ray. Give Triple H what he needs. Oh, big Leliato from Triple H. Ref James looking good as hell over there, man. Look at that man's muscles. Go onto the ramp. Do something crazy. Who did we try to sign that didn't want... Oh, Kiara Hogan. We tried to sign Kiara Hogan for asses and eights, but she just wasn't down. <laughs> she didn't want to do all that. That's understandable. Bully Ray's trying to go to the top rope, but there's a light tube board in the way, you big, dumb idiot. There we go. Hit him in the back of the head. Oh, oh, oh! Into the light tube board! I'm not surprised that Bully Ray would take the spot for Triple H. I'm not surprised by that at all. Triple H is the hardcore chick. Oh, no. To the outside? Oh. I thought he was going to go into the landmines, bro. One, two. Yeah, right now, asses and eights is just Bully Ray and, uh, and Billy Gunn. Billy Gunn. Oh, the bubble bomb! Is he going to beat him in five minutes? Triple No way. I was about to say, this is a new era because Triple H is usually the one to do that. Oh, that high knee. Jumbo Saruta S there. Damn, see, it sounds like they're getting hit by a car. <laughs> I think the ring... Uh, you know what? I, I'm not surprised that the uh, SAFW ring is messed up. Oh, Triple H brought the light tube out? Figure four leg lock on Bully Ray? That's crazy. Nah, see, the ref's good now. See, the, the shoulder's like at 80%, man. He's got range of motion and stuff on the shoulder, so things are a little bit better. Not 100%, but it's getting there. From behind. Maybe looking for a Saito suplex or something, but that ain't gonna happen. One, two. Ooh, Bully Ray was about to go down to nothing. He's the one bleeding. Bully Ray's the one bleeding, right? He's the one that took the spot, so I think he's the one bleeding. Wait a minute, Bubba. Bomb again on the butt cheeks. Ass is an eights leader. 2.9 Triple H able to kick out. This truly could be a new era in SAFW. Oh my God. He's going crazy. This could be a new era. Triple H was dominating last time we were here, but Bully Ray is going to town. You remember if I've seen Bully Ray do the bubble bomb until this moment. 2.9 again. Somehow Triple H, I don't know, Triple H might have iron butt cheese or something. I feel like you get hit on your butt cheeks enough, you just don't want to fight no more. Oh, wait a minute. Just a stiff power bomb, and he goes for the pin again. Two. Two. Yeah, you're gonna have a hard time, man. I'm gonna tell you, we've seen it before, and it's, we've, ooh, into that light tube. We've seen it before, we'll see it again. Triple H does not go down very easily. See, Triple H is also smarter than Bully Ray, because <laughs> when he goes to the corner, he just gets a light tube. Ooh, straight to the nuts. He's, he can do it. It's hardcore championship. He can do whatever he wants. Double axe handle to the back there. Velveteen Dream-esque. Oh, straight to the nuts. I don't even know what... But what, what in the world could Bully Ray want to do from the top rope? Returning the favor on the pile driver. He's actually going to go for the pin off the pile driver. And he got him! Asses and eights taking the hardcore championship home. Bully Ray beating Triple H, man. The Triple H barely ever loses. This is truly a new era. Asses and eights taking home a big old championship. The Pow Driver. I can't believe it. All right, so Bully Ray is your new hardcore champion, boys. Asses and eights taking home a title. All right, let's see. Triple H, one loss. Wow.
Um, this is a uh, mod. This is a mod, or it's like mod. I got the mod pack, so. I saw somebody ask that. Uh, all right, let me make sure I go back and set it to normal so we don't have all hardcore matches like we did that one time. Goku and Billy Gunn. Uh, yeah, I mean, everybody wants to see No Shoku get his ass kicked, so let's, uh, we'll watch this match. We'll watch this match. They got, we got the girl. Hey, we got the girls. They're going crazy too. Hey, look at this. We put a little extra money into it. Goku making his way down. All right. Now bring out the ass man. Also in aces and eights, Billy Gunn. Big ass boy. Oh, forgot to take away the weapons. Billy, don't use those weapons. You'll get DQ'd. <laughs> Billy, don't use the fucking weapons. All right, let's see here. I mean, this could be a new era. I mean, asses and eights could be coming out as the top team right now. It definitely seems like it. Uh, do, 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 let me turn off the weapons for the next match. Uh, I said it for the next match. Just don't use the weapons or you will get DQ'd. Ref James will DQ you. As you can see, we still got the blood on the mat. That's fantastic. Billy Gunn, you have to use the Famouser, man. You got to take him out back. You got to do what you got to do. You got to use your ass cheeks. I mean, Bully Ray used his ass cheeks. And look at that. He won the championship. Took a championship home to Asses and Eights. Last year, Asses and Eights, I swear to God, they couldn't even get one victory. Whoa! Uh, Go uh, Goku is in the wild cards. You are correct. The wild cards is Triple H, John Cena, Baby Reigns, and Goku. 2.9. He almost beat Goku right there. Off the ropes. There you go. Ooh, the kick of disrespect to Billy Gunn. This man's gas out of his mind. You won't be messing with him too much. We need to get Rikishi in the asses and eights. I think we tried to get Rikishi too, and he just, he said no. I don't know what it is with all these people with big old asses. Just join. We want you to join, man. We want to use your ass to its best potential. Allow us to use your ass cheeks, man. I can't remember who else we asked too. I think they said no. Asses and, well, maybe it's because asses and eights wasn't getting any victories, but I feel like now that they're picking up some steam. Well, we'll see. If oh, Billy Gunn said, look at that ass. See, he's all about the ass. Him and Bubba Ray. Ref James making that call. A 20 count here on the outside. Oh, he might get that count out victory. Double count out, maybe. Billy Gunn. Power driver on the concrete. No mats. Wow. Goku is not answering. And he got him! Goku! Wow! The power driver on the concrete. And asses and eights. Picking up a big W, Billy Gunn is finally getting back in the mix. I feel like he hasn't been doing anything for like a whole year. I feel like no one's been able to do anything for a whole year. Goku down and out. Sorry, big man. Uh, now we have a junior heavyweight title match. We have Mayu Iwatani facing off against Naruto. Mayu Iwatani representing class action. Uh, Naruto Uzumaki, is he in, uh, is he in anything? I don't think Naruto is represented by any team. Hmm. That in mind, anybody who's looking for a new person, I don't think Naruto is, uh, he's not represented by anybody. So how about that? Uh, well, Asses and Eights is on a tear right now. Billy Gunn picking up a W. Bully Ray picking up a championship. Man, maybe Naruto's got a big ass. No, he not All right, so. Let's do it, man. Junior heavyweight title on the line. Mayu Iwatani is your junior heavyweight champion. Currently, Naruto Uzumaki, formerly known as the ace of the junior heavyweight division. See if he can pick up a big W night, bring that junior heavyweight title back home. Jin Cherokee and Mayu Iwatani. The true ace. Coming on down. Look at the girls, they're going crazy. Going crazy over there. He's going crazy. Five. Mm -mm -mm. I have to. Uh, I have to. I can see if I can. I, I don't know if I have a Maki Ito created character downloaded. 
I mean, this this save right here for SAFW is kind of busted in the first place, to be honest with you. Um, there's just so many messed up characters and stuff in it, so I have to look and see if I can add. I can probably add more people after this episode. Let's see who can come out on top here. Mai's going to drag Naruto out of the corner. Going for that arm. Nar hey, you've seen it before. You've seen it again. There's a whole, there's a reason why we have a, a tag team stable called Class Action. It literally all stemmed from Naruto. It all stemmed from Naruto dropping balls and mouths, dude. There's a reason we have Class Action. We might need to sign some more junior heavyweights also. Huge deadlift German off the floor. That's the big man right there. This is an old Mayu call also, so I don't think we have the uh I don't think we have the two-step dragon. It's, I think she just has the regular dragon still, so. Yeah, we have freaking Sasuke who just refuses to get signed by anybody. He won't even come to the damn show. He's scared of Naruto. I mean, that's just the truth of the matter here. One, two. Oh, the tombstone pile driver from Naruto into the moonsault. Two. Mayu is getting flexed on right now, but a two count. Taking him down with a Frankensteiner. Mayu picking Naruto up. Ooh, back and forth kicks. Wow. Mayu Iwatani. Able to get a big win there over Naruto. Here we go, stretching the arms out. Look at that submission. Now things are starting to turn around here. Single leg Boston Crab as Naruto is screaming in pain. Another Frank is, damn, she is really stringing these moves together. It ain't looking too good here for Naruto Uzumaki, former ace of the junior heavyweights. Maybe time is catching up. Big super kick into a drop kick. This is what I'm talking about, man. Judo toss from Naruto into the moonsault. Might have caught her off guard. No, just a two count. Junior heavyweight champion for a reason. Woo! Big German suplex. Is that enough to put away Naruto Uzumaki? 2.9. Oh, 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 oh. God! Oh, just a two. I can't believe it. Mayu Iwatani kicks out of the Rasengan. Wow, to the top rope. Big frog splash, but Naruto said no. <laughs> Woo! Huge palm strike. 2.9, somewhere Liger is smiling. Combination of kicks here from Iwatani, the best junior heavyweight division in Fire Pro. Went over. Oh, she went over to the other side. 2.9. Oh, tombstone reversal. Wow, that's hot. Mayu calling for the crowd here from behind. Dragon suplex. No, saved by the ropes. Wow, that could have been it. That could have been it. Oh, E-Honda combination from Naruto. Oh, he's feeling different. Flipping Senton. Into the corner as Mayu with a front missile drop kick. Naruto able to get out, but super kick sends him to the mat. Hey, baby, is getting crazy. 10 minutes in. Whoa, back slide. And a three. Mayu Iwatani has defeated Naruto and retained the junior heavyweight title. Damn, that match is kind of hot too. Good stuff. I can't believe Naruto just lost. Mike Iwatani beats Naruto to retain junior heavyweight title. This is truly a new era, man. 98%. This is truly a new era. All right. That was a crazy match, too. That worked out perfect. All right. We have uh, Class Action and Los Ingobernables de North America. This is a proving ground match. So if Los can beat Class Action here, they will be the number one contenders. Then on the next show, 
will have them face off for the tag team titles. So uh, we'll watch this one. Backslide, baby. Hey, the most powerful move in wrestling history, a pin. That's why I tried telling you guys, pins, man. That's the new finishers. Natsuki with her big muscles. And the Monster Abyss. Not Joseph Parks. Abyss. That's how you know it's going to get crazy. And they're facing off against Mark Henry, number 88. <laughs> you already know number 88 going crazy. And Tetsuya Naito Los. All right, boys. Who do you guys want to come out with the victory here? Abyss and Naito going to lock it in in the center of the ring. Class action. I think the last time... I think the last pay-per-view... The last pay-per-view we did... Um, class action faced each other. I think it was literally two people from class action facing two people from class action. So We'll see if uh, Lost can get it together here and, and pull something out. Naito going to go for a pin early there. Nazi gonna watch it in the corner of them big arms. Woo! Went for a cross body, but Abyss said no how to bear hug instead, big man. Oh, I thought he was gonna tag in Nazi, try to get the job done. Naito in the wrong corner. You do not want to be in this corner right now, I'm gonna tell you that much. Mark Henry is probably the corner you want to be in. Oh, Natsuki feeling okay. Hey. Getting a little crazy crazy. Wow, a bit. And Naito said, I'm out of here on that one. Abyss just straight up blocked it like it was nothing. Clothesline sends Abyss down. Mark Henry feeling a little different. Natsuki going to come in. Big muscle Natsuki. That no bully bomb, you know it goes crazy. Shoot headbutt. Mark Henry going to drag her out of the corner. Abyss said, come on, Natsuki, you got it. Mark Henry's kind of going crazy. We signed Mark Henry, and he I feel like he hasn't really shown, he hasn't had really a uh, shine moment yet. Um, he's kind of just been hanging out and here and there with loss. And I feel like maybe this is a this is his time. We'll see. Naito's over there taunting on the apron. We'll see if uh, this is it for Mark Henry, the big man. Nazi going to pick up Mark. Not going to happen. Naito going to come in. Big power slam. Naito going to drag Natsuki out. And now we're back to the center. Abyss going to come back in? Not going to happen. Uh, we had a super chat from H2 Fluff a little earlier. He said, is Bronson Reed or Keith Lee available for asses and eights? I, do we have Keith Lee? We might have Keith Lee. I have to, I'll have to check and see. Mark Henry had a really good match with Baby Reigns, if I recall correctly. Well, let's see. Uh, we'll see in this new era of SAFW. If Mark Henry can turn things around. We've already seen asses and eights turn things around. Mayu Iwatani beat the... I mean, if this was last year, Naruto would have probably decimated her. But this is, a, this is a whole new time, man. This is crazy. Things are happening. A new era is here. Bear hug, but Mark Henry's going to break it up. He's going to go for the pin on top of Naito. <laughs> He's going to get it one way or another. He wants that... Uh, Mark Henry wants that number one contendership. I don't blame him. Up goes Abyss. Ooh, big club and blow to the back. Oh, he's going to bring a bear hug of his own. Okay. Memphis fist drop from Noski. Okay. Combination of moves here. Class action taking down Mark Henry. Center of the ring. Maybe looking for that black hole slam. No, Noski going to come in. Double team one more time with the power bomb. Mark Henry is getting cut off in the corner and he needs to do something quick. World's strongest slam to Noski. He goes for the pin, but Abyss is right there to break that up. That could have been it otherwise. Off the ropes. Whoa! Gut wrench from Noski picking up the big man like a sack of farts. Abyss wants to come in, but it ain't going to happen. Or is it? Abyss is in now. Powerbomb? No! Mark sends her to the outside. Abyss sends him to the outside. He's going to the outside. Naito's chasing to the outside. Everybody's on the outside. Six. Belly to belly to the ground. Just a straight concrete. Again with a power slam. We might see another count out here because they're going to... Wait, wait, wait. He's getting... What's going on here? 
Mark Henry. Wait! Well, shit. I don't know. It's a dr What do we do? We had a draw. We had a draw in the proving ground match. What do we do? Wow. Um. What do you guys think? Do you think they do? Do we do the title? Do we do the title match anyways? Do we have the, Do we have this title match? Huh. Maybe we. I think we. Man, I say we do the title match. Weird, man. What the hell. Rematch in the cage. Yeah, we could do that. We could have the title match in the cage. We could do that. What do you guys think about that? We'll do the title match next week in the cage. Uh, so now we have John Maxoli and John Cena for the SAFW Television Championship. John Cena holding on to that television championship tight. Ah, shooter John Moxley coming through. He is here and he is ready to fight. There's no shooter pants. How cute. And John Cena's in the khakis. It's about to get nuts. Khakis are out. Shorts are out. Hairline is good. It's time to get this one underway. Ref James is your officiator for this television championship match. Moxley, new AEW World Champion, John Cena, fighting in the Performance Center or something. I don't really know what's going on with that. <laughs> They're doing something. Single leg Boston grab from John Moxley. This is, a shooter, this is shooter John Moxley. This is Bloodsport John Moxley. This is New Japan John Moxley. Things are a little different. Yeah, he's going for submissions. He's going for single leg Boston Crabs. He's going for Fujiwara arm bars. He's going for punches and stuff that John Moxley would do. DDT from John Cena. Oh, heavens, yes. Woo! Big back body drop. That's going to be my finisher, actually, when I start. When I, when I do my debut match, that's my finisher. Back, bo back body drop. I'm taking, I'm taking all the moves and stuff that you thought that maybe wasn't a finisher. I'm making them fucking finishers. Back body drop. Hell yeah, that shit rules. Whoa, Yoshi Tonic from John Cena. A two count on John Moxley. Johnny Boy breaking it out. STF. You. <laughs> Able to get out, and now we're back and forth. They're already going back and forth here. We're only three minutes into this match. Moxley going to drag him out, maybe looking for that Death Rider. A DDT will send him to the mat. Is he going to go for the pin off that? Oh no, he's taking a look at them sketchers. He's got this man John Cena in the black Air Force Ones. <laughs> you gotta run, dude. Elbow drop doesn't connect. John Cena drags him out. One. Just a one count. Oof. I'm sure that's not what John Cena wanted to see. But that is what he's gonna see regardless. Whoa! Blue Thunder Bomb from John Cena. Five minutes. A two count again. Wait a minute. Oh! Death right down! Just a two. John Cena is able to kick out. DDTs on DDTs. Head drops on head drops. Someone's going to come out of this match with a damn concussion. Attitude adjustment on John Moxley. He drags him out of the corner. Ref James down for the count. Just a two. John Moxley able to kick out. Nice knee there. Off the ropes. One more time. I'm going to go for the knee again. No. Whoa. I mean, it's a boss man slam time. Oh he's, oh, oh, he's going crazy. He's in the shorts, man. Woo! Saito suplex from John Cena. Five knuckles shuffle. 
He is looking to put this one away. He said, damn, you smell like shit. Throws down the five knuckle shuffle one more time. Didi, oh, this is not looking good for John Moxley here. Saito again from John Cena. This is tough. Moxley back to his feet again. Good Lord. John Cena said, you've been to New Japan? Bet. Going straight for the head of John Moxley. He's up and he's woozy, but John Cena going to the mat. Backdrop driver, and they're going at it. Back and forth. This is a fight. John Cena getting dragged out by John Moxley, who drops him with a backdrop driver. DDT. This is what the SAFW Television Championship means. Both back to their feet. This is going kind of nuts and crazy and dumb and crazy and stupid. Gut wrench suplex. Both men back to their feet. Yoshi Tonic one more time. No count rope break. Going for a vertical suplex. Not going to happen into the corner. But John Cena is going to fight his way out. And he is saying hello to all the troops. Five knuckle shuffle. Yoshi Tonic. Is that enough? And it is. John Cena with the Yoshi tonic on John Moxley. I don't know, man. I think we run that back next week or next month. I say we run. I say we run that back. That was hot. Ninety-seven percent. That was kind of hot. John Cena beats John Moxley to retain TV title. Ninety-seven percent. Title defense for John Cena. One win. John Moxley, one loss. Yeah, that sounded pretty hot. That sounded hot. All right, now we have the proving ground match for the world's heavyweight title. Jimmy Wang Yang and Matt Robinson going at it. If Matt Robinson can get the W here over Jimmy Wang Yang, well, he'll get a title match next week. Let's see if he can get it done. I am not 100% sure who the, who the King of the Streets is right now. We could have a King of the Streets match next week to crown the new King of the Streets because I don't know who it is. Jimmy Wang Yang, the heavyweight champion, making his way down. Oh, Nick, I see that $5 super chase at classes over. Well, hello, welcome. Big M. Matt Robinson. He loves the women, and the women love him, and he's on the way down here. Let's get this match started. Proving ground for the world's heavyweight title. Will he be able to take out Jimmy Wang Yang? I believe we have a couple of people coming back from injury next month, too, so that'll be good for our card. I think Kobashi's back. Big Bear might be back. We'll see how that uh, works out next month. Got a couple of people might be coming back into the mix. Wow, just taking that kick. That move, by the way, the uh, woo, Big M going crazy. That move, by the way, the spinning heel kick, you know, Tyler Breeze does that too. That move is actually super hard to do and super sucks to take. <laughs> that move goes kind of nuts. Ooh, nice. Belly to back there from Jimmy Wang Yang as he stops Matt Robinson. We've seen it before. We'll probably see it in this match too. When Matt Robinson starts getting on a little bit of a tangent there, it's pretty hard to stop him. He's had some pretty good matches in SAFW. He's brought up some pretty good stuff. I mean, definitely a guy that I think could beat Jimmy Wang Yang here for sure. Jimmy Wang Yang is in the jeans too. He's not in the dick. He's got to keep that in mind, man. Things change, you know what I mean? Up to the top here. Whoa, 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 whoa! Huge sit out from the top. Wow. They are really kind of going crazy here. Back and forth, Jimmy Wang Yang gonna take him down, dragging him out of the corner. We're getting things started. Drop toe hold. The camel clutch is locked in. Give up. Big M is not gonna give up anytime soon. Whoa. Figure four locked in. You know, there are, there are a lot of parallels between Big M and Triple H, man. They do bring out quite a few little things there, you know what I'm saying? This is like, this is like super, like, yes, Jimmy Wang. Oh, 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 Big M 
combination. 2.9, the German into the Tiger, but Jimmy's back with the leg drop, brother. Wow. Yeah, I was gonna say, Jimmy Wang Yang, it's like Super Saiyan God, you know, like you go Super Saiyan God, then your base form just gets stronger. That's what it is with Dickies. Whoa, spinning heel kick to the back of the head. Whoa. Up to the top. Big splash. Down he goes. Matt Robinson to the top here. Drops the elbow on the back of Jimmy Wang Yang. He's got him up. Woo, Dominator. He's got him one more time, but no, the roll through. Legs hook, run a pin, just a one. Up to the top, maybe looking for Yang time! That might be it for Matt Robinson. Ref James down for the count, just a two, really, okay. Vincent had a $2 super chase that Matt Robinson looks like a scuffed J.Y. <laughs> Pedigree. Oh, the rope break, though. Nice single leg drop kick there from Jimmy Wang Yang as he goes back to the top for a splash, but Matt Robinson no-sells the shit out of it. To the top, goes big in for an elbow drop of his own. Bone saw is ready. Going for something, but Jimmy Wang Yang was able to move out of the way. He said a Yang time, baby. Goes for the splash, hits it on his back, goes back to the top. Jimmy Wang Yang with the Yang time! No rope break for Big M, that might be it. 2.9, Matt Robinson said not today. Sends him over with the jumping vertical suplex. Matt Robinson trying to work his way back into this one. The discus punch to the top, maybe looking for the elbow drop one more time. He does, hits him right in the dick. Wow, he got right back up though. Jimmy Wang Yang trying to get him started here in the center of the ring. Big Matt Robinson with the Leliato. The running kick. Throws him up. Dominator sends him down flush. Puts him back up. Northern Lights suplex into the arm bar. The Robinson special. Whoa, Jimmy Wang Yang looks gassed, man. He looks gassed. Matt Robinson able to take some time. Nice neck breaker, give Jimmy Wang Yang a, some separation here as he can get some breathing back into the mix. Back and forth. Come on. Woo, spinning heel kick there. Knock some flush, he might be trying to go to that top rope. Going for the pedigree maybe, a tiger suplex, either way, butterfly, I don't know what he was going for there, but Jimmy Wang Yang knows what he's going for, Yang time! And puts them away! Out of nowhere, man. Jimmy Wang Yang taking down Matt Robinson. And Matt Robinson has lost his proving ground match. But Jimmy Wang Yang picking up a W. Good, mat, good match for uh, Matt Robinson, 97%. Yang time is undefeated, bro. Well, we'll see who steps up to the table next show for Jimmy Wang Yang. Uh, and we have our main event. We have Robert Moore coming over from DFW, enemy territory. And he's facing off against our newest signee, Brock Lesnar. Let's see what can get done here. Big Brock Lesnar. Damn it. <laughs> Baby range run in. Look at Brock Lesnar. This man looking kind of hot and kind of cute. He looks kind of hot and cute at the same time. Ah, that's hot. Uh, we did try to put Robert Moore's title on the line, but it didn't let us. Uh, I 100% wanted to take his title. And scuffed Eli Drake is here. By the way, his, his name is the Mean Drunk. And he, oh, it's because he's a tag team champion. See, if I knew that, I would have put him in a tag. Well, I guess I would need his partner too. But he's the DFW tag team champion. And he has come here to try to take down Brock Lesnar. Well, Brock, this is your debut match, man. Ooh, wow, what the hell? That was like a jackhammer. Robert Moore's kind of crazy. Whoa, he's going shoot style on Brock Lesnar. I don't know if that's exactly what you want to do, but best of luck with that. Annoying Dreamer at a 499 Super Chat. He said, at least he isn't running in like Undertaker yesterday. Oh. With the beanie? Ah, that's hot. <laughs> with a beanie? Ah, that's hot. That's how I want Undertaker at the WrestleMania. With the beanie and the motorcycle. 
and Limp Biscuit, and Fred Durst in the ground. Actually, they should have all of Limp Biscuit in the ground. That'd be pretty dope. Oh, he went for that big overhead club and blow there, but Robert Moore. These people at DFW might be having a little bit of a, I don't know, might be a little ring smart. Who knows? Don't know much about DFW other than this man's a mean drunk and they just hired him and they said, whatever, you can be drunk while you're wrestling, I guess. Obviously, the promoter isn't as good as uh, SAFW promoter, obviously. German suplex number one for Brock Lesnar. Let's hear it in the chat. One. We'll count only German suplex. Wow, the Brock lock. Haven't seen that in quite a while. Breaking out the Brock Lock versus Robert Moore. He's got a point to prove here. Brock Lesnar came motivated to SAFW, and he wants to make sure he puts his name on the map tonight. Going for the pin, just a one commanding kick out from big Brock Lesnar. Back and forth between Robert Moore and Brock Lesnar. And Brock knocked him down with two punches. I just want to keep that. Oh! Liliato! Overhead clubbing blow. Brock Lesnar knocking the piss out of him. Kamara Log, look at that! That is cinched in those meaty legs. That neck was going crazy there. From behind, dropping Robert Moore. Woo! Hey, Jimmy Wang Yang, I'm just telling you, man. You might want to watch yourself. Barack just tossed him with the expl Look at this man! We might have a new killer here in SAFW. We might have a new killer here. This is tough. Look at the way he just tosses this dude. Big release to the floor! Brock Lesnar's crazy! Two German suplex. He's got the steel chair in hand. Holy crap. Another German three! Another chair? Holy, he wants to hurt, he wants to maim this man. He might not get up. And he's back. Yo, Brock, he's not, oh, he said get rid of that chair. Oh, four, a release, German. And another one! <laughs> Five, Brock Lesnar is all the way in Suplex City, man. He is all the way in. Wow. Robert Moore might be going for something crazy, though. Kamara on the outside! Brock's going for the ring out! Uh-oh. Oh. And Brock Lesnar with the Kamara on the outside leaves Robert Moore looking like a sack of hot rocks. You leave him there. Look at the thighs. Look at the girth. Look at the pantaloons on Brock Lesnar. We have a new dominator here in SAFW. Brock Lesnar picking up the W. Brock Lesnar with one win. Robert Moore, one loss. Get the hell out of here. You want to come over into SAFW territory, big man? So all in all, pretty damn good show. Let's see, uh, let's see how we did. Ah, Azumi, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Three months off. Bully of SAFW won the hardcore belt. That is true. Look at the, wow! Flawless show. Bigger venue. We sold out 40,000, baby. What bigger venue could you want? Wow. Oof, and that's what I'm talking about right there. Yeah. This month, you have a singles tournament scheduled with NCPW. Okay, so can we schedule a singles tournament with NCPW? How do I do that? I actually kind of really want to do that. I told Eddie not to work snug with her, but motherfucker said, I'm going to take liberties. I don't know why this dude's like this. Oh. Okay. BME. We are now in April. Let's try to sign somebody new here. Little Timmy is back from the hospital. Dalton Castle, back from the hospital. Kenta Kobashi, back from the hospital. Big Bear, back from the hospital. Uh, 
Okay. <laughs> Billy? Billy! Billy Gunn just fucking left! Okay. Well, asses and eights. I thought maybe this was a big year for them. But uh, Billy just, just left. He's had enough. He's going to AEW. Okay. Well, thanks, Bill. Your promotion was featured in a Europe magazine. I hope it boosts our popularity. Oh, heavens, yes. The president of MWA invited us to their company party. Oh, see, we're, we're getting too popular now. MWA, huh? Hell yeah. Understood. I'll let them know we're attending a little mingling. Hell yeah, the MWA. Yeah, I know the I know the MWA. Asses and eights once again in shambles. You thought maybe for one damn second that they weren't going to be in absolute shambles. But here we are again. Okay, so. Fuck, we lost Billy Gunn, so now we really have to get somebody else. Okay. Um, all right, let's see here. Ric Flair, kind of a bum. You want to try to sign Bill Goldberg? I mean, look at look at his moves. Jackhammer, spear, 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 gorilla press. <laughs> you want to do Edge? You want to try to do Edge? He's a showman, S popularity, B plus, B plus. Edge just came back. I think we maybe go for that. Maybe we go for Edge. Just just be, just just because he came back recently and I kinda want Edge in the mix. Um Oops, I didn't mean to invite. I meant to I meant to uh offer contract. So Edge, come on down. Well, they don't hate us. Yes. Um why don't we give them? Well, I mean, I won't. I won't fucking edge. I'll throw the money. I'll throw the book at you. Damn, bro. Two two months in a row we hadn't signed nobody, and we just lost Billy Gunn. This sucks. We're getting we're, we're getting really hammered by this RNG. All right. Um. Let's see here. Uh. Da, 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 da. Let's see. Merchandise wise. Wow. We sold a lot. We sold out of everything. Holy Christ. Okay. Didn't expect that. Um. Who do we try to invite here? You want to try to get Rikishi? Damn, Rikishi! I just want your big fat ass on this show, man! I need your ass in the asses and eights group! What do you not understand, dog? Huh. Yeah, Billy. Yeah, we. we and yeah, Billy, come back. Billy, we need you, baby. Uh, yeah, I thought it said Nia Jack. Oh, Naomi, King's Road. <laughs> true. And that's pretty true. Oh, we do have Keith Lee. And Ivar. Uh, well... Do we have East Slater? My man. Come on down, Heath Slater. My man. All right, so. Let's see here. Let's book this event. Let's book this event. All right, so actually what I wanted to do, I wanted to look into the... We have the best gym in the business. We have the best wrestlers in the business. Our popularity is down. How do we get this popularity up? Maintain high match evaluations, sell out the venue, hold events in rural venues. Okay, so rural venues is what we need to do. Hold tournaments. Okay, so I definitely want to hold a tournament. But how do I hold a tournament with another... Like, how can I... How do I... Say, hey, I would like to face... Y'all. Here we go. Cross-promotion. 
Um, okay, so NCPW wanted to face us in a tournament. Um, BME wanted to face us in a tournament. I think maybe that's just a weird, like, you know, the Japanese to English translation. I don't, I don't know if they want to do an actual tournament or not. Um, so, NCPW and BME, and then we had, oh, Luke, we had a company party with a Lucha company? Um... Yeah, so which which promotion you guys you think we should send somebody over to? BME or NCPW? Which one do you guys um Which one do you think? I mean, I'm down for either of them. BME is a strong stop. They're both strong stop promotions. This one's in Japan. This one's in Japan. They're actually both in Japan. Okay. 7 wrestlers, 14 wrestlers. Which one's the bigger? NCPW is the bigger company. It, BME is NCPW is probably the one just because they're a bigger company and they have title belts we can steal. <laughs> uh, yeah, but that's true, and that's pretty true. Cross promotion is a five match card. Your guys versus theirs. You guys want to try to do that? Shit, we probably beat the fuck out of him. We got Big Bear back, Kenta Kobashi back. All right, yeah, let's do that. Matter of fact, um, yeah, let's try to let's try to do a cross promotion with BME. We will negotiate with BME to hold a cross. The outcome can make our make our break our <laughs> popularity. <laughs> uh, sure. Ah, oh, I need to get my popularity up more. Okay. Well, can we loan somebody to BME? Like, um... It's because we're indifferent, honestly. We probably should have done it with, like, DFW since we just ran something with them. Yeah. Oh, we'll do that next month. Um... Timmy, you want to go over? To uh, Japan? Look, I mean, he's kind of over in Japan. We can send Timmy out there to Japan. We will negotiate for Timmy to perform at BME's event. They have no interest in our promotion. I wouldn't expect them. Should we try? Or should we maybe try to do it with DFW? But they're in America. I don't want to send any... I want to send somebody to Japan because we have people that are good in Japan, but I'm not sending Kobashi anywhere. That motherfucker is mine. Are you kidding me? Um, who's somebody we that we that's not nest? Maybe we send Naruto since he lost recently, anyways. And I feel like maybe he's not like crucial right now, and I feel like he could take a title or something. Damn, really? I feel, like, I feel like they didn't want Naruto to come through and do say do. Shit, we can't do anything with anybody right now. Ah! Timmy is going to BME. Good luck, Timmy. Go do something crazy. Get crazy over there, Timmy. Congratulations, Tim Tim. So if I look at, no, no, he's not on the list, but win that title, win one of their titles. Hell yeah, win one of them titles. Okay, so here's what I was thinking. He Slater comes through. Maybe he, maybe we let him challenge the TV title. I hope Timmy can. How can I keep up? Can I keep up with Timmy somehow? Can I keep up with the way that Timmy, what he does? Does he just come back? Like, how long is he on? How long is he there? Is it just one month? Is he just on loan for one month? He's Slater and... We need a junior to face Mayu. Um... Champa. Let's see what he's doing.
Okay. It's a one event thing. Okay. Alright, so... Let's go ahead and book some stuff here, boys. Main event! Let's see. Uh, main event, we can do... Let's do the big tag team in the cage match, I think, is, is probably the fucking match to do. So let's do... Heavyweight tag, Abyss and Natsuki against... Naito and Mark Henry in the cage. That's going to be in the cage for sure. Yo, I didn't even see this. Nicholas had a 49.99 super chat and he, he fucking said, hear me out. New team, Nick Gage and Effie, MD Gay. I don't even think, do I have Nick Gage? I don't think I have either of them in here. I got to get them in here. Holy shit, man. I didn't even see that. Thank you, dude. Um, let's see. What can we do here? Uh, we have a couple of people coming back. Maybe we try... We have Heath Slater, too. Let's do... John Cena. Well, he has to put his title on the line. Anyways, the television title is... We... John Cena. Who you guys think should face John Cena for the TV title this week? Brock Lesnar had a pretty good outing. You guys think we put Brock Lesnar in that position? Or do we put... Who else got a win last week? Billy Gunn, you piece of shit. <laughs> Kevin Owens got a win. We could try that. We could go back to that. Um, Eddie Guerrero got a good got a good one. We could maybe put Eddie into the mix there. Um, maybe, we put, maybe we put Eddie in that position. Goku lost, so he's definitely not getting that. All right, we'll do Brock Lesnar. All right, so big Brock Lesnar. Where's he at? Brock, you get a TV title shot versus John Cena. We got a stacked show this week in the main event stuff. Um, let's have a number one contenders match with some people that just came back. So big King Bear facing off against Kenta Kobashi. This is going to be a World's Championship number one contender match. Big Bear versus Kobashi. World title number one contender match. We're putting them right back in the mix. Um, configure match will do... Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Configure title match. We want the junior heavyweight title. We want Mayu Watani facing off against Tommaso Ciampa. All right, let's see. Hardcore title. We definitely want to do a hardcore title, but maybe we put something in the middle here. Um, we could do. Oh, he's. In, we'll give Naruto the week off. Um, Braun Stro Dalton Castle's back too. Let's do Braun Strowman versus Dalton Castle. Um, let's see. We could do... Oh, no, Eddie's... Or Matt's pretty beat up, so we'll give him the week off, too. Um, Bully Ray hardcore title. We definitely want to put that on the line, so we'll put that here. Hardcore Championship, Bully Ray. Who does he face this week? Who got a win last week? Uh, we can do Eddie in a hardcore. Uh, Kevin Owens. Eh, Kevin Owens going for the hardcore title would be pretty dope. We'll do that. Kevin Owens, hardcore championship match against Bully Ray. Sounds good to me. Um, Triple H will have a match with... We'll have a, uh, why not? You know what? Triple H and Jimmy Wang Yang, proving ground match. Um, 
All right, that sounds good to me. So we'll have so if Triple H does happen to beat Jimmy Wang Yang here, then we'll have another number one contender. Then we'll also have Big Bear and Kabashi. So we'll have a couple of months of world title feud set up, depending on the outcome. Jimmy Wang Yang and Triple H. That sounds cool to me. Um, let's do. Goku D trust. Well, you're the one who's a dickhead. <laughs> Naruto versus why not John Moxley big dog stuff here man New Jack still beat up so Goku's beat up it, baby reigns and we do baby reigns and Eddie Guerrero and we still have he Slater I believe we should at least yeah he Slater even though I should probably move him up the card since that seems to no show a little more. Poor. Poor. Who's least likely to get hurt if I put him in a match here? Change Ciampa's match style to free agent. What? You can do that? What do you mean? Oh, like that? What the fuck? I didn't even know that was a thing you can do. The hell? <laughs> Free agent. <laughs> what the hell? Okay. Um. And then he's Slater. Oh, it said run Rural to get popularity up, so maybe we'll try that this show. Damn, I wish we could get... Eh, that's pretty close to 30,000. You guys think, because we were in the Europe, we're in the Europe magazine. Do you think we'll be able to hit 30,000 if we did this? Do you think like it would give us enough extra people if we had a great success to hit 30? Hey, we do 20. Um, Let's see here. If I confirm match card, can we come back to this? I'm scared because I don't want to. Um, let's just put. Okay. Just don't get hurt, man. New Jack. Don't get hurt. All right, man. You're facing off against East Slater. Just don't get hurt. That's all I'm asking here. It's just don't get hurt. All right. This looks good. 20 on deck. 30,000 people. All right, I think this looks good. So we have Heath Slater and New Jack, Baby Reigns and Eddie, Naruto and John Moxley, Triple H and Jimmy Wang Yang in a Proving Ground, Kevin Owens and Bully Ray Hardcore match. We'll talk about that match when we get there. Braun Strowman and Dalton Castle both, or I think Dalton's making his return. Ciampa coming in to fight Mayu Watani for the junior heavyweight title. Big Bear and Kenta Kobashi, number one contender, ass kicking match. The SAFW Television Championship, Brock Lesnar and John Cena. And the big tag team match in the cage. SAFW heavyweight tag team class action versus Los. All right. Now, um, let's buy some stuff. So we have 30,000 people. So we'll go with 10,000 snackaroos. Uh, give me 3,000 of them shirts. Let me get 3,000 of them towels, big man. You know, hey, you know they like them 8x10s. You know how crazy 8x10s be going. I know y'all like movies. We got Invisible Man on Blu-ray already. We're gonna buy 3,000 action figures this time. You know they're going crazy with action figures. Let me get some goods. You know what? We're gonna get some mass. We ain't got nobody with mass. We still get mass. Uh, let's see what we can upgrade here. Um, we can put 900,000 on the block so we can increase our thing, but we really don't need to right now. Um, increases attack, increases defense. Uh, yeah, why not? Grappling dummy. Matt work coach. 
medicine ball. I'll be maxed. Um, sandbag, max. Hmm. I mean, why not? Just because. Get the rec room up a little bit. Grappling dummy up a little bit. All right, baby, we're getting this gym going. Yes, sir. All right. I think we're ready to go, man. Let's go ahead and save this a la mode. And we are ready to go. Please, chat, please give a little bit of the energy so we don't have any no-shows. No no-shows, please. <laughs> no no-show arenas. <laughs> I don't want any of those. Uh, let's head into it. Oh, fuck, dude. He Slater canceled the match for... Oh, you son of a bitch, dude. Fuck you, he Slater, you dickhead. I think I'll ever book you in this fucking company ever again, you little asshole. You think you're gonna come in here and no-show me, bitch? Little bitch ass, you gonna come in here and no-show me? On my big show? Well, we'll see about that, buddy. Alright, so... Um... Let's see... Starting off with Baby Reigns and Eddie. Skip this one. 97% with Baby Reigns getting a big W like that? Damn, alright. The Baby Reigns is on a two win streak right now. Wow, okay. Baby Reigns, one win, two win streak. Eddie Guerrero, one loss. Wow. Okay. 97% too. How do I cancel my own show? Hey, yeah, that was awesome. Uh, Naruto and John Moxoli. Naruto with the silent clutch. Wow, damn. Naruto gonna get that win back. <laughs> John Moxley, one loss. All right, what do we got? Oh, and it's time for the Proving Ground number one contenders world heavyweight title shot, Triple H against Jimmy Wang Yang. Done. Triple H just losing his title on the last show. He's going back to a more traditional style as he faces off against Jimmy Wang Yang, the world's champion. Triple H can get a big W here. He'll be the number one contender for the title. Let's get it on. Bye. The boys are looking at each other down. Jimmy Wang Yang's got a lot to offer, but Triple H's got more. There's still blood on the map. We can't, we just don't, we ain't got the money to replace it. I don't know what to tell you. It's just kind of crazy out here. I wonder how, I'm, 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 in my head, I'm also thinking about how Timmy's doing in that other promotion. Timmy, I'm going to need you to come back for that championship, though. We're going to add more championships to the list here. Big neck breaker from Triple H. I mean, Jimmy Wang Yang ain't got the dickies, but he's already powered up. Rana pin here. And Ref James gonna call it like he's easy. Smart man. Smart man. Naruto went from ace of the company to a filler match with Mox. That's how it works. That's how wrestling works. You go up and down. You know what I mean? You go up and down. That's just how it works. Yeah, we still got a full house, so it's all good. We pr and it's, pr it's, it's actually turned out to be good because I wasn't gonna full house the show. You know, we were gonna do like 26,000, I think was the number. And that would have been bad because... Oh, whoa, wow! Underneath the whole rope! That was pretty hot. That was like a 2005 AJ Styles move there. Um, but it's good that we didn't go with 26,000 because it would have messed us up even more. But since we were overbooked, we were able to take a little bit of hit with Heath Slater. So it worked out. Turns out not too many people were looking forward to New Jack and Heath Slater in the first place. So it turned out okay. Shoulders are down for Triple H. Just a one. Back and forth between Jimmy Yang Wang, Jimmy Pang Tang, Stimmy Wang Dang. Triple H gets the upper hand there. And he goes to the Give full up. mount. Give up. That's the big man right there. <laughs> he had to pull double duty as the ref and as the promoter. Triple duty. I want Heath Slater on the damn card, but... If he's going to be a dickhead about it, I mean, I'm not going to, you know, I can't continually book him. I can't justify booking Heath Slater if he's going to no-show my shows. 
Oh, he went for that super kick, but Triple H said, nah, you good. Back to his feet now. Swinging neck breaker from Jimmy Wayne Yang. He's looking for Yang time. No, the big splash, but Triple H is able to move out of the way. Getting picked up off the ropes he goes. Whoa, underneath from Jimmy Wayne Yang, but a hip toss from Triple H. That was actually a hot transition there. He's got him up. Ooh, sends him down. Atomic drop to the knee there. Jimmy Wayne Yang picks him up. Bulldog action. You never want to be near the turnbuckle against Jimmy Wayne Yang because he's going to turn that into a victory. Nice face wash there. Drop kick doesn't connect. Roll through shoulders down. Jimmy Wang Yang going for the pin on Triple H. Just a two. Off the ropes. Drops the knee and the suck it from Triple H. Midsection knee. Whoa! Pedigree! Is that going to be enough to put away the world's champion? 2.9. Nice kick, Jimmy Wang to the top. Splash! 2.9, 2. Triple H able to kick out. Uh-oh, he said 6,000 IQ, what's he thinking? Jumping pile driver. Picks him right back up. DDT is stuck, he's making sure he's got a little bit of a headache there, but Jimmy Wang Yang, I told you, you don't want to be near that turnbuckle. You don't want to need the turnbuckle, the big splash! Is that a way to put it in the way to 2.9! Now goes Jimmy Wang Yang, Triple H, looking to follow up, maybe a pedigree coming up. Knees to the head, softening the head, the temple. Roll through. Two. Shoulders are down, just a two. Spring back, Lelia Paul. DDT just stuffs Jimmy Wang Yang, but he's back to his feet first, and a big drop kick sends Triple H back up to the top oh. rope. Yang time with the ropes. That's tough. That is tough. Roll through, shoulders down. Triple H is down for the count. Just a two. Jimmy was about to escape without a new number one contender here. Especially sure the drop kick misses. Triple H getting kicked in the face for his troubles. Spinning heel kick off the ropes. Jimmy Wang Yang with the leg drop. Triple H said, not today, not in my house. Single leg drop kick from Jimmy Wang Yang. Picks him up near the turnbuckle. Drop kick sends him back. Triple H back to his feet. The crowd is going crazy for this one. Into the corner, Jimmy Wang Yang going for the stinger splash. No, the flip out of the corner. Triple H able to stuff him there. A nice side get. Oh, the pedigree to Jimmy Wang Yang. One, two, and he got him. Triple H back in his territory. No longer the hardcore champion, but we do have a new number one contender for the world's title. Jimmy Wang Yang going down in a huff and a puff. Wow. One loss, 96% to Adaza. Adaza. Kevin Owens and Bulathy Ray for the hardcore title is up next, boys. We need ourselves some sort of match. Are we looking at barbed wire once again? Let's see. Mod pack. Match. All right, let's see here. Cage match. Victory condition. So we want, it's going to be in a cage. Or no, this was not in a cage. I was about to do this one in a cage. I was going to say, maybe not in this one. Uh, actually, this is lockdown. This is lethal lockdown. The whole, the whole show is in a cage. Uh, let's do, we did light tubes last time. Let's do barbed wire and we'll do four starting weapons this time. We'll do barbed wire, landmine, four starting weapons. That sounds good to me. We're good to go. Kevin Owens taking on Bully Ray for the hardcore championship. Let's do it. We got light tubes, we got boards, we got landmines, we got barbed wire boards. We got scythes, we got baseball bats that explode. We got it all. Hardcore tight on the line, Bully Ray getting a big W over Triple H, but that set Triple, it actually worked out well for Triple H as he went on to the World Championship. 
new number one contender. We'll see if we have a new, we have another uh, number one contender. Maybe they face off. Maybe Triple H and the number one contender face off next week. I don't know. Maybe we, we'll figure out something to do next week. Next week. Whatever the case may be. Uh, Platinum Payton had a... Oh! Into the corner with the Leliato! Oh, again! Into the exploding corner with another Leliato! Bully Ray's gonna be a hell of a hardcore champion. Platinum Payton had a 490. He said, sign Alex Hayes. Bro, that dude don't even exist no more. What you want me to do with him? That dude don't even exist no more. He existed one year in a bubble, in a nutshell, in a vacuum. Bully Ray sends Kevin Owens down. Big Leliato to the back of the net. Kevin Owens does not know what he signed up for here. As Bully Ray is going to town. ECW legend for a reason. Going for the power bomb, but I think he poked the eyes there. Senton, and then he goes into the landmines. Bully Ray gonna chase him to the outside. Kevin Owens, power bomb! He did not hit the landmines, but the Senton into the landmines! To the center of the ring, they're busted open. He's got a fucking hammer. I don't know what's going on. Cutter down to Kevin Owens. Going for the pin, he's bust open, he's bleeding. This could be it here, four minutes in, 2.9. He is dragging Kevin Owens' bloody body over towards the corner. Now we have ourselves a back and forth. Bully with the Leliato! He's got Kevin Owens up for the pile driver. Right near that barbed wire board, you know he wants to use it. Ref James down for the count here. Bully Ray, five minutes and five seconds. You can get off of him if you want, Bully. You want to stay with him. Bully Ray retains the hardcore title against Kevin Owens with a pile driver. Wow. Kevin Owens, one loss. Crazy stuff is afoot. Bully Ray retains hardcore title. Bully Ray beats Kevin Owens to retain hardcore title. Title defense. Sometimes, oh, let me make sure I set all this back to normal. All right, Braun Strowman versus Dalton Castle. Dalton Castle picking up the win over Braun Strowman. Braun with another loss. Damn, he cannot pick. A, he cannot get a break here. As Dalton Castle will pick up a big win coming back from his uh, injury. Eighty-three percentile. All right, now we have Tommaso Ciampa and Mayu Iwatani Jr. Heavyweight title is on the line, fellas. Let's get this match underway. No one will survive it. <laughs> Look at all the smoke. We got the fog machine out, baby. No people gate. There we go. And out comes the junior heavyweight champion. She defeated Naruto Uzumaki. And now she's putting the title on the line against a, an outsider. An outsider. Let's see what happens here. Match is underway. Mayu going straight to the head of Tommaso Ciampa. Try to go for that little neck. That little knee brace too. I'm going for it all. Whoa! Tommaso Ciampa throwing down Mayu. Going for maybe a Frankenstein or pin. A Rana or some sorts. Either way, Tommaso Ciampa going to stop that really early with a power bomb. Float over there. Mayu dragging him out of the corner. Whoa, air raid crash from Tommaso Ciampa. Into the corner, Mayu. Huge front missile drop kick. Tommaso Ciampa wins the junior heavyweight title here. You guys know what that means, right? That means that a champion is outside of our company. We'll have to re-sign him until he loses again. We'll see if he can take away our championship. Uh, Nick had a follower subject. Plus, you can actually edit Fan Tennis in the MyPack for real No People Gate. <laughs> Maybe we'll do that for the next show. We'll just have No People Gate for the next show. Center of the ring, Ciampa. 
He looks like he's got the upper hand on Mayu Iwatani. Mayu trying to fight back. We're going to go into a strike contest here. Back and forth punches and kicks coming out from both. Whoa! Coming down hard with that Fujiwara. Mayu going to chase him down. Dragon screw leg whip. That corner looking kind of hot. Front missile drop kick, but Tommaso back up. Whoa! The submission locked in! Ref James is going to call the rope break, though. On it down the middle, even if we have an outsider. Again with the arm bar on Mayu. Is she going to give up? She does not. Nice body slam. Dragon Cheta out. Another drop kick sends him down. Iwatani looking good, but Ciampa's going to cut her off. Ooh, nice move there. Lots of blood here in the corner. That's exactly where they're fighting. Chomp oh, it looked like Ciampa was running away from Iwatani. She's got him up. Big super kick! Into the corner. Ciampa, whoa! Elevated DDT! Randy Orton style right there from Tommaso Ciampa as he drops the headlock. Fireman's carry takes her over. Off the ropes from Tommaso with a big kick to the back of the head. Off the ropes. Whoa, that big jumbo knee. Again, going back to the arm. That could, I mean, that could be the answer to this match here for Tommaso Ciampa. I mean, how many more times, you know, can he hit it? Make her tap out. Give up. Up to the feet. German suplex, but she's right back to her feet. Mayu not going to give him any sort of break here. Midsection kick. Up he goes from behind. Kick to the back. Targeting the back. Maybe for that dragon. Super kick. Sends him down. Frankensteiner to the top. Mayu. Huge frog splash. Off the ropes. Oh, no. Tomasa's going to hit the turnbuckle. He's targeting that arm. He has a game plan here. He has a game plan. Big discus laliato! <laughs> Arms are hooked! Give up. Tommaso Ciampa not going to give up. Throwing a punch at Mayu. She's going to get him down with the body slam near the turnbuckle. Doesn't go for the frog splash. Combination of kicks will send down Tommaso Ciampa. Both are down. 10 minutes in. Elbow drop. Off the ropes, big run into the corner. Head scissors take down into maybe a super kick. No, wait, backslide! Wow. Wait, wait, oh! Damn, the angel's wings from Tommaso Ciampa. Is that gonna be enough to put away Mayu? 2.9. Ah, that's hot, ah, that's hot. Ciampa's got Mayu up. Vertical suplex to the concrete on the outside. She's back into the ring. Back and forth. Uh-oh, Ciampa, huge discus legato, but Mayu with the super kick. The crowd is going nuts. Front missile drop kick. All the arms again, is he gonna give up? No, he doesn't give up. Off the ropes. Ciampa with a huge Yakuza kick. Where the hell did that come from? Into the corner. Maybe looking for that. Oh, no. I thought maybe he was going to look for that DDT again. Mayu an absolute workhorse here at SAFW. Oh, no. Give up. Give up. Give up. No. She doesn't give up. But he's going to keep targeting that arm. He, he has a game plan, dog. Frankensteiner, down goes Mayu. He's looking to follow up. Nice reversal kick. Junior heavyweight title on the line. Backslide. Ref James calling it like he sees it, even though maybe you should call it like a shit. All right. Oh, no! Oh, he got her! Tommaso Ciampa has stolen the SAFW Junior Heavyweight title. Not the arm bar. 14 minutes and 30 seconds. Wow. A 90 percenter. 
And Champa is your new SAFW Jerry Simon signed the company. Wow. Well, looks like we gotta get him, we gotta sign him up. That's crazy. Okay. We have Big Bear and Kenta Kobashi. Number one contenders match also for the World's Heavyweight Championship. Both of them coming back from injury. That's a big match for both of them. We'll see what happens here. He's got the new Goldie. <laughs> He's got that new Goldie. Big Bear. SAFW first ballot Hall of Famer. Coming down to the ring feeling good. Coming back from injury. He's feeling right. He's feeling tight. He's facing off against none other than Kenta Kobashi. He ran tall and strong for a long time through SAFW. Maybe the most dominating TV champion of all time. And my man is looking to come back and maybe go for that world's championship. We'll see what's going down. The thing with Big Bear, though, is like when you get in a match with this dude, there's a chance you go back to the hospital anyways. So, I mean, Kobashi could be going straight back to the hospital anyways. See how things kind of play out here. Big Bear going straight into that Bear Tamer. He's got those legs locked on Kobashi, but I want you to look at the sheer unadulterated strength of Kobashi. The muscles on muscles, peaks on peaks. He's going straight to the neck of Bear though. You can hear those chops radiating throughout this arena. He is going straight for the neck. You know Kobashi's got a plan in mind here for Big Bear. Big Bear, kind of been sitting on the outside for a while. Has been making a roar as he did when he was first in SAFW. Maybe looking to get back into things. Bear hug as Kobachi is able to escape. Goes for the straight bear punch. Midsection kick from Kobashi. Off the ropes goes bear midsection knee. Big chop. Oh, he's going back, but he's got the spinning back chop. Oh, wait a minute. The cradle pin on Big Bear, but just a two. Oh my God! Kabashi just hanging in midair as Bear is just choking the life out of him. He's got him down. J I just realized Jake Hager stole his submission from Big Bear. The arm triangle. Whoa! Sending him over! The half and half sent over Big Bear hard. Bulldog from Kobashi. Off the ropes, Kobashi. Oh, Liliato! Uh oh, wait a minute. The chops back and forth, and Kobashi. This man is a whole nother crazy dude, Bernie Liliato! Oh, oh shit! One, 2.9. He just chopped the piss out of him. Oh, big bear barely escaping, taking a big bite out of Kobashi. Gonna drag him out from the ropes. Full mount from big bear. He is going to town on Kobashi. Short Leliato. He's got the full mount again. The crowd's starting to wake up for big bear. Bear hug. Is that it for Kobashi? He is busted open. He's bleeding. Big bear took a bite out of him and started bleeding. Leliato. Off the ropes, they might run into each other. He does, but Kobashi, wow. With the Kobashi moonsault out of the corner! Just a two big bear able to answer the call. Wow. You don't see the moonsault from Kobashi often, but he broke it out, and Big Bear was able to escape. The world's barest slam. He's got him up. Power bomb stuffs him. Is that enough? 2.9. Learning Liliato! Oh, he's woozy. Woo! He just sent him over! That sleeper suplex spinning back fist from Kobashi. Off the ropes, knee to the midsection. He's got him up. Off the ropes one more time. Bulldog from Kobashi as Big Bear is starting to lose it, people. Burning Liliato! Burning Liliato! 
I thought he was going to go for it one more time. Big Bear got to catch his breath. Oh, <gasps> Bear Hug. Is that enough? No, Kobashi escapes. The crowd's going crazy. Bear slam. He's feeling a little different. He's feeling a little wild, feeling a little crazy, feeling a little different. Off the ropes with Kobashi and overhead big bear slap. He's got the full mount. He's asking if Kobashi's going to give up. It doesn't look like he's going to. DDT stuffs him. That head straight into the mat. Big bear. He's looking up at the ceiling right now. The lights. Chop City from Kobashi. Body slam, picking up the bear from behind. Sends him flying. That head just went crazy. Straight. Oh, he's feeling different. Big bear with a big bear splash. The avalanche big bear splash. Put a little frog. There's the, the bear splash one more time on Kobashi. And he got him. Big bear. He's right in tight. He's back in the mix. Kobashi going down to the big man. He is here to make a statement. Your new number one contender too. Kobashi going to take a loss 95%. Big Bear defeats Kobashi to become number one contender. Nice. Um, early on in the evening, Triple H defeated Jimmy to become number one contender also. Make sure I write that down. 95%, boys. All right, television title on the line, Brock Lesnar and John Cena. Um, hold on really quick. Uh, before, actually, no, we could probably, I could probably hold it up and say he's bathroom. But we can finish, I think we can finish this up. I explode into a million pieces and piss goes all over the room. Brock Lesnar versus John Cena, SAFW Television Championship is on the line. Brock Lesnar with a big old win last time. John Cena trying to make a good television title reign. Maybe one that can combat Kobashi's. Has he got the khakis on? You know damn well he's got the khakis on. Come on down. This is a big fight feel right here, people. DDT there is John Cena. He's going to go straight for the neck. But Brock Lesnar is going to return the favor. He's going to go. Interesting strategy from John Cena. Whoa, Saito suplex. He knows Brock's going to take him to Suplex City, so he's going to try to take him there early. Suplex to the outside, and John Cena's neck. He sheer dropped straight into the concrete there. That was tough. German suplex one. John trying to fight back into the barricade. He's going to get back into the ring. Uh oh, wait a minute. Gut wrench sends over Brock Lesnar to the center of the ring with the khakis, though. Another gut wrench. He's taking him for a ride, baby. Taking him for a ride. Off the ropes. Huge shoulder tackle that's usually followed up with something. Whoa, Brock's a little woozy. John's got him on the ropes. That's tough. John Cena's looking otherworldly right now. Backdrop driver from Brock Lesnar. Overhand. Ooh, he's throwing. Maybe they're throwing a little shade at Big Bear. He said, I can do what you can do better, big man. Whoa. Brock getting out of the way. Uh, Indian and Johnson had a super chat. He said, is that an alien? Oh, what the fuck that is? Attitude adjustment to Brock Lesnar four minutes in. Oh, shit. Okay, I literally thought that was it. Okay. Saito suplex. John Cena's kind of rolling, dude. This man is kind of rolling. From behind. Whoa, blue thunderbomb. 2.9. 2. Lesnar able to get out again five minutes in. Off the rope. John Cena with the shoulder tackle to the back of the neck. Off the ropes as John Cena hits him down with another shoulder tackle. Hello to the troops. Five knuckle shuffle from John Cena as he picks Brock Lesnar up. This has been all John Cena in the, in the later parts of this matchup here. 
He's got him up. Attitude adjustment. And that might be it. Wow. Wow. Decimation on a different level. That's tough. John Cena. Another win, a two-win streak for John Cena. Brock Lesnar taking a tough fall there. Hey, man, he might be having that kobashi s gimmick here. You never know. Let's see. John Cena defeats Lesnar to retain TV title. And now for the big main event. All right, so we have, do you guys want to do a normal? I think we do normal. I don't want to do escape in the cage. I don't want to do escape in the cage. So I think we're going to do cage match. Or how, actually, how do you guys want to do it? Do you want to do escape only or do you want to do pin? That's up to you guys on the cage thing. Let me go ahead and save, make sure we're good here. We have Los versus Class Action Tag Team titles are on the line. We had a count out last time, so we're going to put them in a cage this time. All right, so pin. All right. Pin it is. Victory condition is normal, so you just have to get a pin. Let's get this cage match underway. Hopefully, the game doesn't freeze. Sometimes when I do cage matches, I feel like it doesn't work. So we'll see. <laughs> we'll see if this happens. It's a tag team cage match, and we got some light tube. Fucking why not? I feel like I put light tubes. In. Oh, I, I. Well, I did. I can't help it. I, I'm a fiend. I can't help it. This is what I'm talking about. Light tubes in the cage. Two, three, four. This is getting crazy. Light tubes in the cage. That's just how it is. Man. Pin only, by the way. We got ourselves a hell of a matchup here. Los trying to take them tag team titles off a of class action. We'll see what happens. Now, I don't think there's a war games. I wish there was. That'd be dope. Mark Henry trying to get a bis up. Not going to happen. Natsuki. Oh, my God. Natsuki's hitting the taunt in the court. She's going crazy over there. Someone stop her because she's going crazy. Sidewalk slam. Ooh, on the light tubes. Mark Henry's feeling right. Into the light tubes in the corner. This is all Mark Henry right now. He is showing out. He wants to be the tag team champion. I mean, Abyss should be in it. I mean, he should be good. Here. He should be good. Oh, Natsuki said, let my man go. Huge Leliato. Mark Henry stanced up in the ring right now, but Natsuki's got him up with a big power bomb and a spear that sent Mark Henry flying back 20 damn feet. Elieto! Oh, he's trying to tag. He was trying to tag, but Naito was doing his ton. Whoa! And the shooting star press! Uh oh, Naito off the ropes. Woo! Front missile drop kick. Tag out to Naito. Naito's coming in. Going for the pin. Abyss said, oh, wow. He believed in Natsuki like crazy. Commanding body slam as the full mount goes crazy. Naito not going to give up. Big punches back and forth in this steel cage match. The main event of the April card. Front missile drop kick. Natsuki back to her feet here. Maybe looking to tag into Abyss. Oh, no. Into the light tubes. But Abyss sends Naito for a ride. We're all through. Shoulders are down. Lost trying to get them championships. Snap suplex. Uh oh The big dog, Mark Henry, is here. Able to stop Abyss there, but Abyss is looking like a train. Oh, capo kick. Mark Henry. That's a GCW spot right there. Abyss is going crazy. Oh, the black hole slam! 
2.9 Mark Henry. The will to fight lives within Mark Henry. Naito making his way into the ring. Nice power slam. Naito to his feet. Abyss off the ropes. Noski watching on in the corner. And she's coming in. Maybe that no bully bomb might be coming up for Naito. Belly to belly sends him flying. Damn, that took all the energy out of Abyss. A Memphis fist drop. Another Memphis fist drop. Huge commanding forearms. A spear to Naito. It's not looking good. Another spear. Woo! But Naito fires back with a punch of his own. Drop kicks the back of the knees. Now that's creative. Goes for Aleliato, goes for a spear, misses on both. Naito, just look at this. Playing chess. Wait a minute. Whoa! Wow! What a reversal from Naito, but she goes right back to it. Another power bomb. Power bomb. Uh oh! No! Bully! Bomb from Natsuki! Wow, with the foot pin, but the rope break is called. Belly to belly there from Mark Henry. Everyone's in the ring. The light tubes are all torn up on that side. Oh, Destino! Mark Henry's going to go for the pin after that? No, he doesn't. Destino! <laughs> Mark Henry, he's got a bitch right where he wants him. Off the ropes. He doesn't go for the pin. Headbutt to the back from Mark Henry, who is in full control of this one right now. The black hole slam. Naito is there to break it up just at a one, though. Uh-oh, wait a minute. He's calling for the Texas Longhorns gimmick. Wait, bear hug? Naito in here to break this up. He said 6,000 IQ. I know what I'm doing. Off the ropes. Gives time. No, but Abyss is... Wow, he's putting the work in. Both men are down 13 minutes in this steel cage. Black hole slam one more time. Is Naito going to be able to break it up? He can't! Class action! Does it again! Maybe the most dominating tag team in SAFW history. Incredible. Bada bing, baby. Abyss and Natsuki beat Henry and Nato to retain the tag team titles. I think that's two wins in a row. Abyss and Natsuki, one win, two win streak. And, well, they did, they drawed, so I, I don't want to say it's a streak, but they got it. Um, and Naito and Mark Henry with the loss. Last action. I think it was the first cage match we ever done. New Jack! Three months! Fucking Ch Chompa. Ah, yes. Great success. Even with uh, Heath Slater. Not being there. Still great success. That's what I'm talking about right there. This month, you have a single starting with SWA. No, I don't. Is Timmy back? Where's Timmy? Hernandez is back, baby! Naito is waiting outside. They say their salary's too low. Naito and Natsuki. Wow, okay. Naito and Natsuki want more money. Triple H wants more money. Hernandez wants more money. Y'all think he can just start asking for money. Abyss wants more money. You guys think you can start asking for money. Shall we host our own company party? Hell yeah. Wow, okay, so we gotta start paying some people more money here. Uh, let's see here. Where's that management? Where, where, where do we offer them more money at? Broke contract, no. Consultation? Change 
his salary. Yes, sir. All right. They seem satisfied with the raise. Perfect. So Naito. Let's see here. Natsuki. All right. Triple H. Hernandez. The hell is Hernandez? Hernandez. Abyss. Damn, y'all really come like you, you want to stay in business, don't you? What the hell's wrong with y'all, man? All right, so good. Okay, let's try to offer a contract to Tommaso Ciampa, who has our championship. Let's see where is he at? I don't think they like us much. That's not what I want to hear. What if I give you maximum pay, Tommaso Ciampa? Okay. Um. All right. Well, now it's a competition. Who's going to beat the fuck out of Tommaso Ciampa? Naruto! Naruto! It's time. Okay. Um. Is Timmy back? Timmy got the belt! Oh my god! Timmy got the belt! No way! What belt did he get? Oh my God, he's the BME heavyweight title champion. Oh my God, you're kidding me. Timmy got the belt. Oh my goodness. Wow, okay. Good job, Timmy. Um. We collecting belts now, okay. America, we could send somebody over there. He won the main championship, wow. So we gotta, can we defend the championship on our show? Maybe be, let's try to, what company, should we try to do DFW for the crossover event? You guys think we should try to do DFW? What the fuck do we do with this belt? <laughs> what do we do with this belt? <laughs> I don't want this belt. Throw it in the trash, Timmy. Bring it back, throw it in the trash. Now this is what I'm talking about. That's the good stuff right there. That's crazy. All right, so we got ourselves a new belt. I don't know what we're going to do with it, but... Let's see. Uh, I think DFW would probably be... Because they're like the ninth ranked... And I feel like they would. I'll just try. Yeah, I just thought I'd try. All right, so let's invite somebody else here. Um, we're gonna have Naruto try to take that title back. By the way, piss ant. Randy Savage, you wanna come through, bro? My man, Bone Saw's back at it again. All right, so. Um, just because we have some really hurt dudes, I think. Let me check. Good, 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 normal. Who is poor? Because I don't want to use them. All right, so New Jack's out. Jimmy is poor. Yes, yeah, so, okay, so what we'll do this week, since Jimmy's poor, is we'll run Triple H. Triple H versus... Big Bear. And whoever wins that will face Jimmy first for the title. And then we'll give Jimmy the week off. Normal, normal, good, good. Azumi's still out, good, normal. Okay, so everybody's else, well, so who was poor here? Azumi, right? No. Jimmy Wang, okay. New Jack, 
Okay, so we're actually pretty good on injuries. Uh... Um, Robbie E, the big man. Uh, bald head Shawn Michaels. Oh, hell yeah, bald head Shawn Michaels. Now we're talking. Okay. So we'll book this show. Um,. Main event will be Eugene Stahl on training. Uh, what should the main event this week be? Maybe we do. Let's see. Baby Reigns is on a two win streak. John Cena is on a two win streak. Maybe we do Baby Reigns for the TV title. So we'll do. Television title, John Cena versus Baby Reigns, maybe? He's on a two-win streak, so that's pretty good. Mm. Well, yeah, we're going to have a BME title match, too. Um, I'll probably do that towards the beginning of the show. And big mm. but Robinson lost that's the thing Robinson lost and maybe Reigns has won twice so I, I mean like B plus B plus B B plus B plus B I mean they're like the same um Yeah, fuck it. I'll give it to Matt Robinson. All right, Matt Robinson. Uh, maybe in the open. Let's try to do. Okay. And then in this main, we'll do junior heavyweight title Tommaso Ciampa versus Naruto Uzumaki, the big man. Um, I think we'll also do hardcore title Bully Ray versus maybe we give Baby Reigns a shot because he's won twice. So we'll give Baby since Baby Reigns has won twice, we'll give him a shot at Bully Ray for the hardcore title. Um, then we'll book. Let's book Timmy's match. The BME heavyweight title, Timmy. And, uh, you know, we'll give uh, Kenta Kobashi a shot. I'm looking at, I'm looking at the list here. Maybe we, maybe we give Dalton Castle. Um, let's see. A plus, A plus, A. A, B plus. Eh, we'll give Dalton Castle the shot. We'll give Dalton Castle the shot versus Timmy since he got, he got a win last week. Um, let's see. So we got four title matches on this show. Sheesh. Oh yeah, no, I definitely want to. I definitely want to make MDG. I just have to download and put him in the thing. Um. Okay, let's have. Hmm. We could have. And they just defended their titles in a pretty brutal match. I was going to say, maybe we could have them defend their titles again. 
But Jimmy, I wasn't doing versus Big Dickies, but Jimmy Wang Yang is pretty hurt, so maybe not. Maybe I could do Goku and Triple H. We could do Goku. Okay, yeah, I can do that. Okay, so tag team title match. We'll do Goku and Triple H. Oh no, Triple H has to have a number one contenders match. Um, that's what we're that's what we were gonna do. So we're gonna have um, Triple H, who defeated Jimmy to become number one contender from the Proving Grounds match, and he'll face off against Big Bear, I believe. Yes, Big Bear. And then the winner of this match will face Jimmy first when he's in good condition. So. Okay. Makes sense. Alright, so Triple H versus Big Bear is number one contender. Well, they're both number one contender. They're, they're both going to get a shot regardless. It's just who gets it first. Um, so let's see. We could have Kenta and we could continue the loss in Gobernables. Okay. Let's see. Mayu's free to do something now. She's in class action. Hmm. Maybe we maybe we put somebody in a feud. Or maybe we put somebody in a stable. Um who's not in a stable? Maybe we do a match to put somebody in a stable. John Moxley, Braun, Brock. Let's have Let's have Braun Strowman versus Brock Lesnar. And then the winner of that can create a new stable. How about that? They're the leader of a new stable. Um, Naruto's in the junior heavyweight match versus Ciampa. All right, um, let's see. All right, we'll have, okay, so Naito and Mark Henry are kind of fucking pissed at each other because they get they didn't win the tag team championships. So let's have a singles match between them. Just a, just a little, just a little loss, uh, almost like an exhibition. Um, Hernandez is back. So we'll give him a match. Uh, Hernandez is back, so we'll give him a match. Well, let's make sure we get the right Hernandez. <laughs> Hernandez is back. We'll give him a match with... Um... I kind of want Kabashi on the card, so maybe we do Kabashi. No, Kobashi and Kevin Owens would be a good match. Let's do John Moxley with out shooter pants. We'll do Kobashi versus we got Randy and Sean. Let me do Randy. Randy. Oh hell yeah. Oh hell yeah. You can oh hell yeah. Um, free agent match. That would s fucking suck, though, if, Kent if they no-show Kenta. But it is what it is. Um, then we'll do Kevin Owens to open the show versus... Mm, Eddie? I'm scared to put, like, I, I just brought these guys in just in case I needed them. I'm scared. I'm kind of scared to put two free agents on a card because they can both no-show. So I think I might just keep Savage and keep all Shawn Michaels and you know, just keep them back. Um, wow. Look at that. $40 on a large haul. We still, that's, that's what's up, baby. Now we're moving on up. Uh, we're selling out these large hauls for $40. This is, this is that good stuff. 
All right, uh, so we have television title shot. Matt Robinson and John Cena going head to head. We have Naruto trying to win back the junior heavyweight title from Tommaso Ciampa, who has taken it hostage. We have Baby Reigns and Bully Ray in a hardcore championship match. Uh, Bully Ray and Baby Reigns have been undefeated in this new era of SAFW. Dalton Castle and Timmy for the BME title. Dalton Castle coming back from injury. Timmy coming back in championship from another company. Um, Big Bear and Triple H to see who faces Jimmy next month uh, for the world title. Brock Lesnar and Braun Strowman in a fuck destroyer match. Naito and Mark Henry because they're pissed that they didn't win the titles. Hernandez coming back from injury. John Moxley trying to get a win here at SAFW. Kenta Kobashi and Randy Savage because fuck this sounds awesome. And Kevin Owens and Eddie Guerrero just to uh, pop the beginning show. Here. So I think this is a good card here. Bada bing bada boom. All right, now let's buy some stuff, baby. I'm gonna get, uh, I'm gonna need, uh, let me get 5,000 t-shirts for the boys. Let me get 5,000 towels for the boys. Get rid of these shitty old photos so I can get 5,000 new fuck photos full of dicks. Oh, hell yeah, and you know we about to get that Avengers 6. We got that here, come and get your damn movies. Get rid of these old stinky action figures. We have elite action figures now. 5,000, just getting 3,000. I don't know, you nerds gonna be buying more shit. And you know we're about to get 20,000 snackaroos. I'm gonna get some more goods too. Let me get 3,000 goods. Pop the house. Get the mass as they are. Uh, let's see here. Uh, ba -ba 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 training center. Uh, we could probably spend a little bit of money here. Probably not too much. Get that grappling dummy. I think we max leveled the grappling dummy. Oh, heavens, yes. All right. Now, now that we max level that, our gym is pretty hot. Uh, all right, chat. Energy. Give me your energy, chat. For we must go on. And Randy Savage, please do not no show. Please do not no show, Randy Savage. I beg of thee. Whew. Randy, why? Randy, why? I feel like as you get as you get more and more, damn, that fucking took away a lot of our attendance. Uh, fuck. I feel like I feel like once you get later on in uh in this in this fire promoter, like everyone no shows constantly. I feel like in the beginning it's a little more lenient on inviting people, but now I feel like it, they just fucking no show all the time. It's annoying. Eddie Guerrero. 86% too. Uh, all right. We're booking 50-50 here. Hernandez and John Moxoli. Ooh, Hernandez picking up a win coming back, but man. John Moxley cannot get any steam right now. Tetsuya Naito and Mark Henry. Tetsuya. Oh, he beat him with Gloria, too. Mark Henry, one loss. Braun Strowman and Barack. Lesnar. Damn, Brock said he cleaned him up. Brock said he's getting back on the card. I understand. Triple H and Big Bear, baby. Let's see it. Oh, shit. Hit my subwoofer. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Well, you know, sometimes it just be like that. I don't know what to tell you, man. Sometimes matches just turn into cage match, light tube, death matches. I don't know. I don't know. What the, I don't know the answer to questions that you're asking. Anyways, Big Bear and Triple H, number one contenders match. Uh, you know, it is what it is. 
sometimes, you know, we like to keep you on your necks. You know what I mean? That is out it. Bear Tamer on Triple H here as Big Bear and Triple H are fighting to see who faces Jimmy Wang Yang if either of them will even make it to next month to face Jimmy Wang Yang because it sure as hell doesn't look like it. Uh, the promoter got a little crazy. He whispered on their way out. Oh, yeah, it's a cage match. Like, dude, he doesn't matter. Oh, he's getting out there. Power bomb from Big Bear into the Big Bear splash. Two minutes in. He goes for the pin. Only a two. Big Bear said, I want him in the cage, brother. Bear slam. Oh! Bear swing. Ain't seen it in a while, and he brought it back out just for Triple H. Ooh, into the light tubes. Goes with the big bear spear. I think he's got a concussion. What the hell? Muda lock from Triple H. Interesting. Whoa! Big bear slam. Just a two. Triple H chasing him down. Brings him back around with the bear line. Off the ropes. Big Bear Spear the Beer. He's got Triple H up the power bomb. Uh-oh, he's feeling right. Another spear from the bear. He's gonna go for the pin. He goes for the full Give mount. Give up. This is my dude right here. Triple H back. Ooh. Go for the family jewels, Triple H. Oh my god. This man wants Big Bear's big balls. Power bomb from Bear. Triple H getting dragged over to the other side of the arena. Big Bear splash. Triple H trying to fight back into those light tubes in the corner too. Those are the pin off a forearm. I don't know who you think you are, Cassius Ono, but you better calm down. DDT going to stuff the Bear. Mike Ice had a $2 super chat. Bonesaw wasn't ready. He indeed was not. And I'm actually kind of upset because this card was looking crazy. The Big Bear Splash Avalanche style on the rocks for Triple H. One, two, three, Damn, he is... Oh, my goodness. He got all up in Triple H. Big Leliato. Off the ropes. Big Bear Splash! One, two, three, and he got him! Big Bear is moving on to face Jimmy Wang, Wang Yang Tang Wang next week. Big Bear is on a streak, boys. Triple H, one loss. Now we're moving on to the title matches. Dalton Castle and Timroth for the BME heavyweight title. I got no idea what this looks like, but we're gonna see it. Not in a cage. Dalton Castle. And look, he's coming back. He's coming back with a different swagger to him too. Look at him. He got that walk. Got that fresh fade too. This is looking hot. All right, man. Ooh, okay, okay, Timmy. Look at this combination. How's that combination terrorize? Straight to the nuts. Okay. He ain't the BME jammy for no damn reason. Give up. Big Dalton Castle coming back from injury, picking up a win last time. Gonna try to keep that streak going, maybe win that BME heavyweight title. Uh, the BME title. Oh, Ref James taking a big bump. Uncharacteristic of him. Going for a pin, but Ref James is down for the bump. The BME title is a title that Timmy just went on excursion and won. Timmy went on excursion, won the heavyweight title, and then came back. Timmy is a shooter for life. Going for the pin on Dalton Castle. In the corner. Woo, thought he was going for the dragon screw. He's going to turn that around. Dalton Castle dragging him out. Big elbow to the back. The boys are going back and forth. Oh my God, Timmy is a cannibal. Dalton was not happy about that. Back and forth now, punches coming out. Holy, they're still going. And Timmy gets the upper hand. He's got flames on his jeans for a reason. Big gut rip sends him over. Whoa, 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 whoa. And the big Wolverine claws from Timmy, and then straight to the nuts. I told you this man was feeling different. 
elbows all around and he's taking a bite. This this is a whole new Timmy. This is a whole new Timmy, man. He was the hardcore god at one point, and now he's the BME heavyweight champion. Look at this, look at this pork here on his headlock. Dalton's gonna drag him out towards the corner, go for the pin, leg hooked on Big Timmy here. Oh my God, the claws are out again! Well, like Dalton saw that combination coming there. Nice code breaker from Dalton Castle. 2.9, almost won himself the BME heavyweight title. Goes for the palm strike in the corner. Dalton's calling out to all the Dalton maniacs out there. They're feeling right. Roll through there. Ooh, Ref James calling it like he sees it right down the middle. Whoa, 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 whoa! Exploder suplex from Dalton Castle. Midsection kick, might be looking for that bangerang. Knocks Timmy out flush, but Timmy with the brain buster! Wow, with the leg, the one-legged pin. Timmy taking a bite, he is bleeding. There is blood, people. This man is full of swag with the mist! Wow, Timmy's got missed. The abdominal, look at it, look at look at this stretch. Wow, Timmy. Incredible. Throws him down with a belly to back. Timmy has got it all, man. High knee into the corner. He's gonna try it again. He's got Timmy in the corner. He's gonna go for the spears, the little baby spears, little mini spears. Sends him down with a suplex as Dalton Castle. You can still see the green mist. The green mist and the red blood. Dalton Castle is a mess. He's going to the top. With the splash. Shit, it almost turned into a headbutt. Shoulder barrage here from Dalton Castle. But straight to the nuts from Timmy. Uh-oh. Into the corner. Abdominal stretch again. Oh, Ref James called the rope break. But Dalton's going to have to go down. Oh, flex money. Bangerang time. No, exploder suplex. And Timmy's going to take a bite out of Dalton Castle. He is taking a bite out of crime. Going straight for the family jewels. He's going to go to the pin. Is the dick dead? And it is! Timmy retains. The BME heavyweight title. This man is, I'm telling you, this is a different man. Little Timmy's looking a little crazy. Wow. This is a whole different dude. Title defense for Timmy. Dalton Castle can no longer have kids. Now we have the SAFW Hardcore Championship, Bully Ray and Baby Ray. Let's put on some barbed wire, boys, and get a little crazy. Let's put eight starting weapons in the ring. We're getting crazier and crazier by the minute. Barbed wire on the ropes. Bully Ray and Baby Reigns. Look at this match. We got microphones in the ring. We got light tubes in the ring. We got fucking boards and scythes and kendo sticks and all the ropes are barbed wire. I don't know what's going on here. Hardcore championship on the line. Bully Ray going crazy. Both of these dudes are on streaks right now. Building up streaks week by week. Bully Ray able to stop himself before going in those ropes. Baby Reigns taking the suplex onto that scythe. Baby Reigns firing away. Body slam, center of the ring. Microphone is over there for anyone to use. Blue Ray wants to cut a promo. He can. He's got him up. Wait, are those Wolverine claws? Are those Timmy's Wolverine claws? Oh, are the Wolverine claws? Oh, he's trying to throw him into that barbed wire. Big release German suplex from Bully Ray. Baby Reigns trying to fire up here. Gonna go for the pin. Ref James down for the count, just a one. And Claw's coming into play quite a bit. Neither have gone it. Wait, Baby Reigns into the exploding barbed wire. There's blood everywhere. 
You're gonna be feeling that for a while. On to the board, oof. Backbreaker action. Let me get that, let me get, let me see some of that microphone action, matter of fact. Why don't you go over there and grab that microphone? Suffering suck attack, son. Into the bar wire again. Bully Ray, man, he's one hell of a, he's a hell of a hardcore champion, dog. This dude's kind of crazy, to be completely honest. Ooh, that's tough. Oh, I thought he was gonna pick up the microphone for a second. Suffering suck attack, son. I declare. Bully Ray. Oh, he was looking for that bully bomb. He ain't gonna get it though. Give up. Give up. Nothing. Into the ropes again. Bully Ray dragging him out. Flipping him over. There's look at this. This mat is just gets bloodier and bloodier every show. Blood and guts. Blood and guts. Blood and guts. Uh-oh. Baby Rain's going for the legs now. Oh, he said he's got that fist cocked. He's going to go straight for the legs. Trying to trying to ground Bully Ray here. As you know, Bully Ray's quite a high flyer. On to the Wolverine Claws. Uh-oh, shit. Reigns, oh my God. God, he's gushing blood. He is gushing. Look at the, oh man, that's tough. Baby Reigns is bleeding. Huge Leliato, but Reigns is back with his own. Oh my God, this man is bleeding. On to the microphone, it sounds like a car crash. It's just gushing from his head, and Bully Ray's not done. Oh, man. Oh, this is a massacre. This is an absolute massacre, man. Wow. Oh, wow. Bully Ray with the pow driver. I think that's it. He's... Oh, my God. Yeah. Okay. We need paramedics, because there's blood everywhere. That's, uh, that's, uh, that's something. That's definitely something. Okay. Shit. All right, well, Bully Ray won. I think that's a three-win streak for Bully Ray, who is on a, on a roll here. And Bully Ray defeats Baby Reigns. To retain hardcore title. Uh, let me also write down that Lil Timmy defeats Dalton Castle to retain BME title. Also, Big Bear defeats Triple H to face Jimmy Yang next show. All right. Let me make sure I turn all this off here. Normal. No starting weapons. All right. Next up, here we go. Junior heavyweight title, Naruto Uzumaki and Tommaso Ciampa. Ciampa is holding our junior heavyweight title hostage. It is up to Naruto Uzumaki to bring it back. Naruto, you've done it before. We've had Jimmy Wang Yang holding this title hostage before. You gotta come through, big man. You gotta come through. SAFW is depending on you. No one will survive. Tommaso Ciampa has Goldie. Let's see it on the nameplate here in just a second. SAFW Junior Heavyweight Champion Tommaso Ciampa on the line. Look at the blood. This ring is so bloody. There's fucking blood on the ropes. It's floating. That's how much blood there is here. We're gonna have to kind of avert our eyes here from all this blood. Naruto stomping a mud hole in Tommaso Ciampa. Into the corner. Flips him over center of the ring there. Ooh, 
Tommaso Ciampa said, we need to get this done in the center of the ring, buddy. Uh-oh, Tombstone Pile Driver! One minute in, Naruto's not playing around. Ciampa dragging Naruto out, drops the elbow on him. Another Tombstone Pile Driver from Naruto. Nice flipping senton. Whatever needs to be done, Naruto, you need to get it done here. You have to get it done, big man. We get a break. Jump, shooting, headbutt, flipping, shooting, star press. Already a two count, two minutes in. This is looking good here. E Honda style from Naruto Uzumaki. With the flip, but it's gonna be a rope break. Uh-oh, Tombstone again. Into the moonsault. This is a massacre. Off the ropes, sling blade from Naruto, who goes for the pin again. 2.9, Two. Two three minutes in. This is looking good, boys. This is looking good. Discus Leliato. Ooh. Naruto picks him up off the ropes. Woo! Big palm strike. 2.9 as Ciampa is able to kick out of the palm strike. Good Lord! 2.9 again. Off the ropes, knee to the midsection, Naruto to the top. 450 splash! I think that might, oh wait, no, he said that's not it. Oh, nice to pin! Oh, 2.9. Ciampa with the hip toss. Going for the arm again, that Fujiwara arm bar. He's targeting that arm. Ciampa once again going back to the same game plan he had versus Mayu Iwatani. Super kick from Ciampa. Oh, shit. It's like a Uchiki Roshi there. Off the ropes. Just a two. Into the ropes as Ciampa comes off. He's flying away. Naruto's got him in the corner. Maybe setting him off for that 450 splash one more time. Yes! Ref James. You got started here. In these situations, you don't call it like a shoot. All right, big man. You just call it. Naruto's got him up. Pile driver. Whoa, pin. Yes! Oh, just a two again. Whoa! Yoshi Tonic! 2.9. Oh, let's see God! Into the pin! How in the hell did he kick out of that? Tommaso Ciampa is otherworldly right now. E Honda combination one more time. Oh, no, that's a work break. Off the ropes. Big palm strike! 2.9. Ciampa able to reverse into the Yakuza kick. This is... Stop someone with the power on! 2.9 2. again. The Angel's wings. Is that, is that going to beat Naruto? Oh, Naruto survives. Air raid! Something like crashing into the mat. 2.9, Naruto's able to kick out again. Oh no, not again! Oh, Ushigoroshi one more time. He's gonna go for the pin, he doesn't. Off the ropes, Ciampa, another Yakuza kick. Ooh, 2.9, hey! Come on, Naruto, for SAFW. Yoshi Tonic! Shoulders are down! 2.9. Back and forth, the crowd is on their feet for this junior heavyweight match. Super kick, discus leliato. Wait, that's a pin. He's still targeting that arm, that arm bar is still there. The tombstone, power driver from Naruto. He's calling for the end. Is that enough on the neck of Tommaso Ciampa? It's not, 2.9. Oh no, not the lung blower. No! 
Oh, he didn't go for the pin. Ciampa, you cocky bastard. That will be the end of you. Come on, Naruto. Ciampa's got him up. Oh, to the back of the head. That was vicious. Wait a minute. Oh, Kitty Kubasta! Is that enough? Two, three, Naruto Uzumaki has brought back the junior heavyweight title to SAFW. Hell yeah, baby. Naruto. That's what I'm talking about. You should have signed Tommaso Ciampa, you big bastard. Now you don't get a payday. Now for the main event of the evening. Let me write down. Naruto defeats Ciampa to bring junior heavyweight title back to SAFW. And now for the main event. Matt Robinson, Big M versus John Cena for the SAFW Television Championship. Dun dun. See, this could have been a crazy card. I mean, Kenta Kobashi versus Randy Savage. This is on you, Randy. Come on, big dog. One way or another, Naruto found his way back to be in the junior heavyweight champion. And doo -doo -doo -doo, John Cena with his khakis. He's been on quite a tear with the television championship. We will see if that continues here tonight versus Big M Matt Robinson. There is so much blood still. So much blood. Big Matt brings him over. This is what I'm talking about. Get on him early. This is what I'm fucking talking about. Get on him early. Oh, come on, Rap James. You gonna call that? Come on, big man. You gonna call that? Whoa! Northern Lights into the armbar. The Robinson special. John Cena. Oh, wait a minute. Big M is on a tear right now. The first whole minute of this match has just been Matt Robinson going to town. Big Leliato. John Cena cannot get himself together here, but he might, he might as well try to. Headlock here. Starting to turn things around. Matt Robinson going to turn it around to the Robinson special with the arm bar. Wait, John Cena's got him with the suplex. Okay. John Cena's still fighting back a little bit. Still fighting back a little bit. Robinson special one more time. He has got the arms of John Cena locked all the way up. Back and forth. Look at him. Just staring each other down here. Johnny boy's got him up. These suplexes are coming through, but Matt Robinson's got to be doing more damage than that. He's dragging him into the blood. Ooh. Chin is locked on John Cena. Again with a Robinson special. He has got a game plan. He came into this one just like Ciampa did when he won the junior heavyweight title. Maybe we'll see the same thing for Big M here. John's got him up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Suplex and John's on the outside. Taking a sheer drop on the concrete, baby. Wait a minute. Saito on the concrete. That's tough. Okay. Get back in the ring before you take any more damage like that, Matt Robinson. Okay, John Cena's starting to do a lot of head damage here. Sheer drop. I don't know. It's going to be tough. He's getting him back up, but he's just doing fucking so much damage. Leliato. Back and forth between Matt Robinson and John Cena. Ooh, Matt Robinson was the one, but look at this. Tying up John Cena. Oh no, out of nowhere with the attitude adjustment. Ooh, just a two count. Matt Robinson was able to get out of that. <gasps> no way, another one. One, two. Two again as Matt Robinson is able to kick out. Attitude adjustments back to back. A little shimmy and shake discus punch there from Matt Robinson as he goes to the top rope. Big elbow drop to the heart of John Cena. Throws a punch, maybe looking for another attitude adjustment. Body slam sends Matt to the outside on the concrete. Five knuckles shuffle on the ground, but Matt Robinson is going to return the favor of the Dominator on the concrete. Throws a punch, and they're back in the ring, baby. 
Aido suplex. Dragging Matt Robinson out of the corner. Throws the punch. He's down like a sack of farts. Drop, toe hold. STFU is locked in. Matt Robinson's got to hit the ropes or get out of this the best he can. And he gets out. Able to escape the STFU. Big Matt picks him up. Oh, he's got him choked again. Give up. Give up. Give up. Oh. You're kidding. Oh, my God. John Cena just toppled over the ropes. That was nuts. Oh, my God. Matt Robinson's not playing no games no more. Shoulder tackle. You know that's not good if you've seen this. You know that's not a good idea if you've seen a John Cena match to be getting hit by stuff like that. Gut wrench suplex. Matt Robinson back to his feet. Another gut wrench suplex from John Cena. The crowd's on their feet for this one. He's woozy poozy. But he's able to fire back with a body slam. Off the ropes from Matt Robinson. A big knee. Oh. I don't know. You're going to have a tough time giving, getting John Cena to say give up. I'm going to be honest with you. Into the turnbuckle. John Cena? Tornado DDT out of the corner. Off the ropes, and they have run into each other. Matt Robinson dragging John Cena out. Off the ropes, they run into each other again. The crowd is on their feet here. 12 minutes into this main event television championship match. He's got him up on the top turnbuckle. Wait, 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 no. Oh, power slam off the top reverse from John Cena into the attitude adjustment. 2.9. Matt Robinson kicks out. Wait. Pedigree. Is that enough? And he did it. Matt Robinson is your new SAFW television champion. Fighting through the pain. Congratulations to the big man. Ooh, baby. To win the TV title. How about that? Junior heavyweight title, TV title, changing hands. Not the best show because of the no show, but it was still a success. I'm sure because of that, we lost out on a lot of money. Now we still made a good amount of money, so I'm happy with that. BME. I'll tell you about BME. ACE. Yeah, I'll tell you about both of those. June. All right, let's try. Cena's waiting outside. You can't just lose the title and then want more money. Oh, baby. Timmy wants more money too? Eduardo from MWA? Come on over, Eduardo. Eduardo from NWA. All right. So let's first off, let's consultate here with John Cena, who already wants more money. And we'll consultate with Timmy, who, of course, wants more money. All right, Timmy. There you go, baby. All right, so let's try to offer somebody a contract. Who are we trying to sign? Who are we? You, you want to try to sign Goldberg this time? We were going to try to sign Goldberg at one point. Bill, you want me to try to sign Bill? Try to sign Bill. What you doing, Bill? Yeah, okay, we got money to spend. Bill. Goldberg is shitty as fuck. We have Bill Goldberg in SAFW. What a signing here to end this episode. That man Goldberg is here and he is ready to fight. You already know. Let me see if I let me see if I got 
Defiend in here somewhere. Do I got Defiend in here? Where you at, Defiend? Yeah, I ain't got you in here because you're a coward. You ran away. You heard the word Goldberg and you ran like a coward. Maybe I'll try to get the fiend in here next time. Maybe I'll try to get the fiend in here next time. Bill Goldberg, baby. That's what it is. All right, guys. I think that's a good place to end on the next one. We'll be going into June of year three. Things are looking pretty hot right now. On the next, uh, next time we do this, which will probably be 2023 by the looks of everything else that we do with this series. Uh, we have Naruto bringing the he junior heavyweight title back. Matt Robbins is the TV champion. Big Bear will face Jimmy Wang Yang for the heavyweight title. And uh, Little Timmy will continue his BME gimmick while Bully Ray continues his hardcore gimmick. So anyways, thank you guys so much for coming by. If you guys are watching right now and you haven't left a like, I would super appreciate that. Just leave a thumbs up. It's, uh, it helps out. And uh, I'll catch you guys next time when we upload some more content. So have a good one, everybody. Thank you guys once again. Thank you to everybody who came by in Super Chat and everything. You guys are great. Um, if you have any suggestions for me to add people into this uh, save, I can download people and add them. I have a little bit of issues sometimes with it, but I'll try. Uh, so if you have suggestions like uh, Nicholas said, Nick Gage and Effie, I, I can look for those and try to get them in there. Um, so anyways, I'll check you guys out next time. Have a good one, everybody. See you.